Um, let me also enter to the record that if you're watching this, you must watch it without prejudice. <laughs> it's without prejudice that you absorb this material. It's also under common law and not and admiralty law. It's sort of common law. Um, do you want to talk about the sarcopod? Or do you want to get to it? We've had Oh, I'd love to. We want to talk well, about one more thing maybe before we get to the meat of it. And I yeah, can always but, edit it later if we decide. Yeah. Not to do it this way, but. Yeah. We're not going to talk about Kratom in the podcast. We're going to edit that no. out. No. Oh. Um, anyway, you did Sam, now, but... I, I did just now. Um, we have full blown creative mm -hmm. discussion. If you guys uh, go to the Patreon, um, maybe that'll be a double. That'll be an extra tier. Yeah, you I get have the pre. -convos. I actually have an update. I have a news update. We lost. Yeah, a Patreon, real talk about so, Kratom. Oh yeah. So we're our other, five Patreon. Our offshoot. Our offshoot is a real talk about Kratom. Well, you know, it's interesting. It's two hour episodes about pu just purely oh. about kratom and kratom what's going on with that. And it's not yeah, funny. Legalization. Kratom it's industry, not funny at all kratom either. products, kratom business. Hyper ideas. legalization. It's a bunch of We're trying to re legalize it's it. Hyper legalization. You have to do it. It's it a goes bunch in of other yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's going <laughs> in stuff you already have in the mail. Yeah, like coffee, Orange stuff like juice. that. It's going in. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So, Sam, are you, do you are you familiar with this uh, news item? I get all my news from this uh, site Reddit. Are but, you doing it on your computer? Oh yeah, whoops. Why Jeez. don't you get that even out of here? Just completely. <laughs> I get I get all my news from uh I have I if it's on Reddit I haven't seen it. I get all my news from a place called truthwander.net. Oh yeah, no, I've used truthwander. It's a little too scary for me. Oh, we've lost. Hold on. Keep going. I'm just going to try to restore here uh Sam's video. Why is it not playing? Sam, we got to restore you here. Okay, it looks it appears to be <laughs> working now. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do you see this sarcopod story? Yeah, you wear the sarcopod, Sam. No. Well, it's really cool. It's just suicide it's not machine? related. To, well, <laughs> sure, yes. Okay, okay is it yeah. a suicide machine? That could be called. <laughs> yeah, that. I just see it that is headline. that. Yeah, it is. Okay, sure, it's a suicide machine. It's a pod. Fine, if really. that's what you want to say. It's a suicide pod, really. And it's, um, I, that's what I would prefer. And it's something that they've, I guess, approved for use in Switzerland legally. But there's probably, you know, it's not going to be here for a while. But it's a pod where you kill yourself in it. Yeah, because, like, I already knew that. Uh, just, okay, so in. To continue my sort of suicide fascination on the podcast. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but you see, Sam, <laughs> Switzerland is already kind of the euthanasia capital. Like, they're one of the places where you can do, like, assisted suicide. I think it's still restricted to a relatively large degree, but oh, there's already... There's, uh, like, only certain methods that you can use. Or, 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 like, you know, you have to, like, I think, it, you know, some states have it here. Like, you have to pass some sort of exam. Like, yeah, I think uh, Oregon, right? Yeah, like, you have to get psychiatrically evaluated. But see, right. now, Sam, here's... Now, what I just said... Which is bullshit. <laughs> well, you, uh, yeah, that sucks. You should be yeah. able to kill yourself at the drop of a hat. Uh, no, I... You can. <laughs> that's <Okay>. true. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're forgetting. <laughs> um, well, here's the here's thing, the thing about suicide. It's free. That's, that's what <laughs> I have should to be. say. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is a way you can pay Where am I it. going with this here? You're... Uh, Wow, this is the longest fucking ad. Well, yeah, you should have seen fucking it. seen in my life. This this lion is like still going. Is it no, fucking lion? You no, you can't. It's an injection. It's an injectable something. It's a glargan. It's glargan. It's insulin. Inject. Oh, it's insulin. Oh, well, yeah, but insulin? don't you feel bad now, Jack? Don't you? Not really. Making fun of the diabetics who have a lion in their home. Um. Well, okay, they can't but wait. afford it anyway. This, so Sam, this commercial doesn't seem relevant. No one can have probably diabetic. afford something. I don't know what the fucking lion. Uh, here, know, here's okay, what I'll anyways. say though that was cool about the original we got a lion article. In a Cadillac. The original. Well, we got a pet lion. We have an insulin ahead. problem with our pancreas. Our lion has. That's has how diabetes problem. works. <laughs> He's diabetic. My pancreas is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice owned. <laughs> Diabetics are BTFO. Yeah, well, um, I don't know what that means, but this kale just dropped on this. Uh, New kale just Another is commercial. this still what the fuck? Well, I this is a I just wanted a picture cool. of the guy. Shrugging. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I scrolled <laughs> down. I found a picture. Of this is an sure. artist rendering of the sarcopod in action. 
sure. But Sam, let me share with you. Okay, the in thing, action, yeah. There's kind you, of a. You used to be able. You had to get psychiatrically evaluated by like professionals to for to for it to be determined whether or not you could euthanize yourself, right? Whether if you were of sound right. mind. Now, the initial article you sent me, Jack, the choice line for me was that it mentioned that. They want to do away with that. They want it to be an AI like quiz. They want you to take an online quiz, and then this at is the Sarco, this this company in Switzerland, not totally clear or to just... me, but just the way the problem works, Sam. Just think about how dystopian this sounds. Even if like a you know maybe voluntary, yeah, you think I mean it's... yeah. But think about this. Awful. This is how they described the process: is you fill out an online quiz to determine whether or not you should be allowed to exit Earth. And then if you pass on newsweek.com if you pass yeah. you get a code you're sent a code that for 24 hours allows you to access the sarcopod <laughs> so for which yeah, the funny, what, what is the test <laughs> that's cool what is the test yeah, i like, wonder also like is joe mansion we're entrusting the, the human Senator lives Vermont? we're entrusting human lives to the the test the quiz i mean it's also it's like an amazon it's like an amazon rental too where you pay you pay uh or the 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 sarcopod, but if you don't use it in twenty four hours, you still you're yeah. Still what built. the fuck? Well, here's the thing that I, I thought was you, funny I'm about sure that. That's how it works. Is like you know, but <laughs> I I actually decided I'm not gonna do it, and it's like, well, you know, well, you know, it was gonna be still, a million you still bucks. Still, we're using the pot. You, yeah, you still owe some million dollars. <laughs> well, it, it, there's a cool thing though that you haven't mentioned about the sarcopod. The screen. Uh, well, the screen can either be transparent or black. You can see, oh, it shows and you, you can... like the crudes while you're while you're fucking <laughs> going going to the next side, or like monsters you maybe or something like that. I would uh, choose monster. I would definitely choose. Monsters yeah, I would. You I would. Def- I would agree. I would black out. it out, yeah. and I would do crudes too or something. But have you seen crudes too, Sam? I haven't seen any of the crudes. That's why I go monsters you. What about Christmas uh, is... with the crudes? Is that a new one? I I think that's real. I'll say that I I'm barely just saying, know what the crudes is. For the context. Is, but... I'm just saying for the context of a suicide pod, Monsters U would be a pretty good one to go out well, on. Well, here's for the me, thing. Just because I'm familiar with the franchise. That's fair. I'd say, I, honestly, it's a great movie. Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, so, But here's what the thing. You can take it and you can put it This is actually places. the appeal kind of, of the, the sarcopod, Sam, is that what the sarcopod, the beauty of the pod is that Instead of taking some pill or getting like I don't know gassed by a doctor you or dying in a yeah. fucking nursing home, you, I the think sarcopod. Good. The sarcopod, since you can have a transparent or an opaque black shroud, the point of the transparent shroud, as as demonstrated by this rendering here, is that you can pay to have the the pod hauled to your most favorite vista, you know, your most favorite oh, okay. destination, and so you can get euthanized the Grand Canyon. Yeah, like. And <laughs> my living room, yeah. <laughs> well, I love my the backyard. idea of like, let's say it takes off, and like, I like to picture like in many years, like visiting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like you visit places and you Mount see Rushmore. sarcopods there. <laughs> like I was the thing that I was imagining is like, oh, I visit Santa Cruz, and then like I'm walking along the cliffs and I just see a sarcopod on the cliffs, and and you just kind of see a guy inside, and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, okay. you know what? It's like um, when you don't want to walk in front of someone's photo. That they're taking in public, it's like you kind of sure, like, yeah. oh, let's go behind you don't the circle. Walk in front of their yeah. Vista. Yeah. Oh, this is their last like will and testament occurring in real time. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Oh, and also I want to say the twenty four hour part is funny to me because it's like, okay, you pass it, then you get twenty four hours to use the code. Why? What is the point of the twenty four hour? Like you then well, and this is an interesting unintended There's consequence. Something incredibly dark about like entering in a code. To end it, to, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, That's something about like, an online quiz. I mean, Jesus Christ. All of it, yeah, all of it, is, yeah. Imagine I, if it yeah. fucked up or something, though. Like, Well, but think I, about this. I will. An unintended imagine consequence. How, how does it, imagine how does it not operate? dying. An not unintended dying in consequence the <laughs> of, the, of the 24-hour thing is, think Just about this, struggling. Sam. In the same way that if you get a YouTube movie rental and you only have, like, 24 hours to watch it, let's say you fill out the quiz now you are incentivized to kill yourself in the next 24 hours because you only yeah. have 24 hours to use your code. So now it's like, oh, I got to kill myself tomorrow because I'm locked into the fucking 24 hour. It's it's all very disturbing. It's wild. It's so wild. Yeah. It kills you with Why, inert what's wrong gas. With just, uh, what's wrong with just helium gas in a hospital? I guess that you have isn't to be in what, the hospital. The, 
I, oh, okay. I, well, yeah, I could see that. You can't do it at your favorite at your favorite joint. joint. Well, you I can't take you really have to. You can't drag Mike's have to. Jersey Mike's parking yeah. lot. You can't. I was yeah. just gonna say you can't <laughs> yeah. drag the helium gassing machine, Mr. Pickles, to Mel's drive-in. Get one last Inside Mr. Pickles. Inside the Mr. Pickles for Jack. <laughs> just... What about a Mel's drive-in in San Francisco? I think that'd be a good, a good exit location. I'm not familiar. Yeah. It oh, it's about. like a 50s themed diner. Oh, nice. You oh, like, that you kind of like really that cool, era. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I really love that stuff. <laughs> That's big for you. Brendan yeah, loves the big. 50s. I love the fifties. Why generation. he wants to commit suicide? Because it's, it's not like that anymore. I, yeah. <laughs> in yeah, all, in in all ways, time. in all yeah, ways that it was. True. A lot of suits. A lot of, a lot uh, of cars. <laughs> nice. Yep. You're hitting all the reasons I love it, man. <laughs> wet hair, guys. Had wet hair. <laughs> Super wet hair. Wet that's hair all. Hair and back. music on. Big music discs. on loud, <laughs> music on loud with big disc motion. Music on big CDs, wet hair. <laughs> music on big CDs, absolutely. Big chrome piece, <laughs> big chrome on bumper car, on a yeah. car. Big, Whatever happened yeah. to cars where the, the bumper was big and it was chrome and it was all big on the car? Right. Yeah, yeah. Now it's all flat plastic and just modeled to the lame. car. Lame, no, no. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm a car guy, Sam. Imagine Did you a, not know that I'm kind imagine, of a car guy? You imagine a Prius? No, I knew that. Yeah, we went to that car show together. Yeah, we're, I'm kind of a car guy. Yeah. Oh, the Flingus Air Mod? Oh, is this the Citroën yeah. Flingus? The Citroën fling, French Flingus? Did you guys go to Flingus Air Mod? Yeah, you're a, foreign, yeah, you're a, you're a big fan of foreign 50s I'm cars. a big fan of foreigns. Yeah. 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 They're cool. Pretty Imports. Sure. I love import. GE. GE but foreign made. <laughs> I like the GEs made in the German factory. That's what I like. Oh man, I could use a sarco pod right about it. <laughs> Jeez, man, I'd love to tap into a sarco pod. <laughs> we got to drop into the today's topic. Thanks for yeah. uh, thanks for listening. I yeah, guess. if you're that one. <laughs> well, think about that, this. I was thinking if you're just that one person from a that's... psychological angle. That's the wrong word. Psychological is not the word I meant, but. It's just funny to think about, like, theoretically, these episodes are more for, like, a future audience than a present one. Because we know that we have no We know listeners. that at most five people can see this video. No listeners we have. Tons of. But at, <laughs> yeah, we have in droves. But I'm just saying, like, as far as the premium videos, like, we know for a fact five people have access to this. And two of them are you guys. No, Sam's not subscribed. Okay, one of those five. I, I so am. four people can see the video episodes. What's so up, it's Joe? Kind of for the fe- <laughs> yeah. What's up, Joe? <laughs> so it's kind of for the future. Oh, I guess for the audio listeners, we should say too the Sarco Pod. Um, it kind of looks like looks like a big red pill. It looks like something from like Alien or something. It looks like a xenomorph head, yeah. but it's like a pod. It looks like a. It looks like in any sci-fi movie when it's like they go into a, a spaceship. Yeah, and it just looks like people that have been like uh, frozen or like yeah, they've been the, the, they're in some stasis, sort of deep sleep. A stasis yeah, pod. Like, yeah, they're in like, it looks like a stasis pod. Can I say what How I How does it kill you? Can How I say what I you? think it looks like? And then I'll answer your question. I think okay. it looks like, a, I think it looks like an Advil that's been dipped in candy, hard candy. Uh-oh. Like was, an M&M. Yeah, it looks and like an like, elongated Advil with a it looks like a big sort of, window on it. Looks like a sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. It's a good. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. For improving artists, <laughs> it looks kind of like uh, like if you took a bean and then you chromed it and then it's you painted red. that red. It's just kind of red. That's <laughs> it looks why. like if you powder coated a bean, if you powder like coated you, a bean and you, put a big tempered glass window on it. If you worked for Advil Dippers and you only got like it was a malfunction, like you only got a little bit on the Advil. It it, it looks like it. <laughs> looks like it looks like an Advil Get your PM. Sock, O-Pod. It looks like an Advil PM. That's what it looks like. Yeah, up on slant. Yeah. <laughs> up oh, on actually, a pedestal. Actually, you know what? You're kind of right. You're kind of right. It kind of looks like a hybrid between a. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, it looks like an Advil. an Advil liquid gel, like a blue. Yeah, liquid yeah. Gel. It's like, like an Advil That's liquid what I gel. Mean. Red, just a classic red dipped. Advil. <laughs> you know, what it looks like it, look, <laughs> it looks like an Advil PM liquid gel. With just some sort of Chevrolet, some fifties Chevrolet styling on the ends, you know, some big how red. How cool caps. would it be if this did? If this was chrome finished? How would? Of this, how like, cool would it be? I'm sure you could trick. 
out your sarco pod. You yeah, could. You get, should be allowed to. If you have money in the bank that you're not going to give to your fucking son well, wait, that you don't like, new, you might as well. This is a new. Well, they idea. just clean it out. They just clean it out and use it for the next gig, right? Oh I mean, my god! You know what, Sam? It's it. somehow, nitrogen, Sam. Nitrogen. Somehow that didn't even occur to yeah, me, Sam. Okay. That someone has to lug your body onto their shoulder from the sarco pod. They have to lift you out. That they sucks. gotta like sanitize it. And, uh, uh, I like I like to imagine like it doesn't work like it malfunctions or something and it doesn't release enough so gas. You just don't die. So you don't die. And it, you just struggle. You just become in there. like brain dead. And, yeah, and then they they take you out of the sarcopod and they go, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> they go, oh shit. You escaped the sarcopod, man. My bad. The sarco CEO says, you know, sarcophagus is the word it comes to. Yeah, that, that's yeah. kind of heinous in itself. Like, don't make death cool. Even if you're going to do it, don't be, don't call like, uh, you know. I think it's cool. I think you guys got the wrong idea. Well, check this out. I'm realizing that. So the way it works, Sam, is it re- you hit a button and it releases. This is what the show's about today. <laughs> it releases nitrogen gas, which I guess is inert. The whole point is it's painless. Like when you, like the helium gas right. you were talking about. I mean, if. That is even a thing that is used. I think but it it's does like, CO two. I heard. Well. I've heard that. No, it's I've not. It doesn't know. do CO two because the whole point is is that your body can feel like the the sensation of suffocation is when CO two builds up. Like you you feel like you're suffocating when CO two builds up in your bloodstream, and using this inert gas avoids that. So you don't feel like you're suffocating, but you are. So you here's, just eventually just kind of pass out. Here's the quote out. in question, and we'll then we'll talk about the show today. We want to remove any kind of psychiatric review from the process and allow the individual to control the method themselves because, you know, they're at the point where they wish they want to kill themselves. Our aim is to develop an artificial intelligence screening system to establish the person's mental capacity. Naturally, there's a lot of skepticism, especially on the part of the psychiatrists. Who are all biased. That's kind of just an addendum. They want to do mental health. Lame. <laughs> Nitschke. Lame. Nietzsche, Nietzsche explained that people Nietzsche would, said that it was good to have the Sarko. People would be screened through an online test before getting approval to use the Sarko. Oh, okay. Well, that weeds out any sort of. Well, no problems there. What it, if someone it's like a moody thirteen-year-old kid and he's like, yeah, he just gets the code and hops on a train going down to where the Sarko pod fields are. There's just like a hundred of them Sarko in a field. fields. Yeah, Sar- <laughs> Sarko Lane, one hundred Sarko Lane. Well, wait. I, okay, last final thing I want to say about it. I'm realizing that the way the technology works, the sarcopod could be shaped like anything. You know what I mean? Like it's just well, a it's seat like a with, coffin, right? But think about this. An what about some, What about coffin. a little something for car guys? Like, what if your sarcopod <laughs> looked exactly like a cherry Ford Falcon from 1950? You know? Do you mean like yeah. one eighth scale, or do you mean like no a full a, car, a complete replica, but it's sealed, it's airtight, so that and and when you turn the key. You know, the gas is really something. Something for car guys. A little something for car guys. I'd like to call it. Well, I think what car if... guys probably just do the old, the old garage. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just do I the, real, right. the real. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, cheaper. The, tail, the, t- the tube, tube on the tailpipe to the window. Yeah, that's a lot of work. DFW. Though. I've always thought that that seemed like that's a kind lot of, of a DIY. Work. Do it's kind of a weekend warrior. Himself. Really? Yeah. DFW hung himself. Oh, I always thought he killed himself in a garage. I guess I could be wrong. You could be. You shouldn't act like so confident about something you don't know. But you don't know it either. I didn't act like that guy knew the thing. Anyway, so I sort of did. (laughs) Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. This is a DFW tribute pod. (laughs) The reason why the the reason why we bring this up is that sovereign citizens. What's up, shitheads? Welcome to the fucking dystopian future. You got me, your host, Jack McLennan. Or as people like to call me, Rip, Rip Nails. And uh, I'm joined by my buddies here. And we're talking about uh, the, probably the owners of, of YouTube and, and the common law. We're talking about... Talking about oh, software. he's losing steam. We're he's losing about, steam. <laughs> the owners of uh, what I like to call auditing the culture of the self. 
to here we go. ameliorate get a big shot of Stan, Sam. to to ameliorate the uh, wow the many really losing steam on this <laughs> the many crimes of the government federally and otherwise <laughs> laid down upon us since you know when they took it over before the founding fathers it was <laughs> what it was let and me then... tell you so sovereign sitters and sitters and... <laughs> dude <laughs> you're doing about as good as me at this point <laughs> sovereign sitters are. Sovereign Citizens is like a movement. Sometimes they're classified by by the FBI. They're classified as a terrorist organization. Yeah, I didn't know that. I literally, because <laughs> yeah. the way I came to know about Sovereign Citizens, and if you know about them at all out there, folks, you probably know about them from like YouTube compilations. Yeah, or something get where it's owned. Like, yeah, like Sovereign Citizens get owned in court because like, yeah, that's the way I first found out about them is it'll be a video of them in traffic court. You where probably like, watch Hassan reacting. To yeah, you it. probably watched <laughs> Hassan do epic Sovereign Citizen reacts. Uh, <laughs> we're just doing that. We're rehashing that. <laughs> we're, yeah, gonna, we're doing we're that gonna too. Him. <laughs> we're doing that We're going to watch him. We're going to react to Sovereign Citizen. We're going to watch, watch Hassan react. And then we're going to. But we're less knowledgeable. <laughs> and that's where we. That's, and that's where, where we what? Here's that's what I'll really say. Our, that's, that's not really true. Our trump card. <laughs> you know what, Sam? is The thing is, I'm going to put my foot down. Me and Jack are. Me and Jack are way less knowledgeable. That's right. Not true. I yeah. think Hassan is a stupid person, fundamentally. I, I don't know who that. he is. Never watched him, but I have heard the name. <laughs> well, trust that you actually probably are just as informed as, as he is, I'd okay. say. Well, but anyway, that sucks, listen, dude. listen. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Sovereign citizens uh, are uh, pretty cool, and I want to show you guys cool. some. Oh, wait. But I, w- I wanted to finish the Big thought Poo-ha. of like, you know, the thing that, but we're going to go deeper. Honestly, like I, Jack learned a bunch of stuff as far as the origins of it that I didn't know about, like actually where it comes from. Cause like the way I know about it is through these videos where they're in traffic court or they're at a traffic stop. Right. And the most basic iteration, it's these, it, they think that like these, that laws, that newer laws are somehow invalid, you know, like, uh, like, you know, I guess they, they reference all the time this thing called Black's Law Book from like 1836. Well, Black's or Law Dictionary. Black's Law yeah. Dictionary. And like yeah. in Black's Law Dictionary, which there have been later versions of. So I feel like that's a kind of fundamental flaw in their thing is they'll be like, well, in Black's Law Dictionary of 1910, it says that I have the right to travel and that only commercial drivers must be licensed. And then the cop goes, uh, okay, and then writes them the ticket anyway. Or the judge goes like, uh, okay, and then like gives them the ticket anyway. Should we watch a basic video like that? About Black's Law? Or like just the most basic like it sure, is yeah. already watched I, content? See, I, I'm kind of, I, I went into the more obscure end right away. Right, well, I, which shit. I think is good because I think we actually are going to add something that even if you know about Sovereign Citizens, uh, you're not going to know already. Um, and you're I? not going to know about these cool YouTubers. No, you are certainly not going to know about these cool YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, Spelled sovereign wrong, I'll say that right now. Oh, uh, yeah. This is this is top five sovereign citizen moments. This is on A&E. You know, no one's ever asked me that before. Oh, my God. This is another one of those better help commercials. Oh, we got to watch this. The arraignment of 39-year-old Asher Edwards. Hello, Judge. Good afternoon, sir. Edward's demeanor may seem pleasant, but just a few days earlier, his alleged behavior was anything but. He was charged with making terrorist threats, assault with a deadly weapon, and obstructing peace officers after a domestic disturbance escalated into a two-day police standoff. Shit. Mr. Edwards, this is the time. This guy with the long beard, the orange jumpsuit, oh, sitting in prison. Over some sort of traffic ticket? Or... It's always over it's a always over or... stupid stuff. Yeah. It's always you over register- stupid <laughs> shit. That's the funny part. On his car. Yeah, it's yeah. always like people who just they don't pay their registration and then they like wait, then they get pulled over, then they go to court, and then like it could be a simple fee, but then they like demand to have like jury trials for their fucking lack of paying it registration like a, it becomes like a twenty thousand dollar yeah it becomes like a twenty thousand dollar felony yeah yeah, yeah the thing yeah. that you find is that most of these people are just like the just the most annoying fucking smart alecky people about a thing that isn't real i would ever say existed i would call them gadson flag types maybe gadson for, flag? oh for sure yeah. i saw okay like, don't i saw tread really- on me flag types yeah, I, a lot uh, of them oh, are for that. sure. Yeah. yeah, we could look at this. I didn't put it in, throw in the links, but I did see a really cool guy. He looks like kind of like if Dog the Bounty Hunter golfed. 
and he had a Gadsden flag custom license plate. His license plate was just a Gadsden flag. And, uh, and he said he got $250,000 for spending one night in jail. He had a settlement. So, so almost that's in the auditor cool. zone. So you're saying, he, uh, <clears throat> you're he, saying he received right. money that, and that seems to be and the when only he was talking sovereign about person. Law books, he said, uh, you know, all these law books he's referencing, he had a binder with like, uh, just like sheets, you know, highlighted. Um, awesome. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I don't doubt time it's, wastery, like, well, it's just, it doesn't work Tom too. Fury, like the like, reason it's psychotic babble. Well, it's also based bullshit. on bull crap. Like there's auditors who like the whole point is, you know, like, oh, the police can't ask you for your ID. And that's like a real thing. Right. And they, and they refuse and they're still annoying. They're still trolling essentially. But these guys oftentimes are going based off fake shit. Like they're saying like, well, you can't give me the ticket because actually the Constitution says I don't need a license plate. And it just doesn't matter to the judge or like, you know what I mean? It's just totally irrelevant. Well, here's the thing that about all judges is that they're, they've been uh, replaced. And what he's about to say is that they've been replaced with a maritime admiralty law, uh, which, which happened either in the Civil War or when we stopped uh, the gold standard. Oh, yeah. See, so yeah, exactly. So what's happening at this moment is the judge is saying like, hey, man. What's up? You're here in court. And he says, sir, is this a maritime admiralty law courtroom? Admir uh, maritime admiralty law courtroom that we're uh, processing me through? No, it's not. Edwards considers himself a go, sovereign citizen it's not. who lives <laughs> as a free man, as they like to say, under common law as established by the founding fathers. Yeah, wait, you're, what you just said, though, like, that's the irony of it, right? Is like, he's like, I'm going to ask if this is an admiralty maritime law courtroom. Then the judge will have to say yes. And then, and then the judge just goes, no, it's not. <laughs> And it's like, okay, defense ended. Like, it's done. Maritime admiralty law. Well, don't worry, he's going to employ some other tactics. The law of the sea and international you know this clip? A body of law that sovereign citizens... Uh, Hassan reacts to this, reacts to this clip. This clip. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here. Maritime admiralty law courtroom. I believe so. No. He just asked again. It is all courtrooms in this country are maritime admiralty law courtrooms that process people, aren't they? Got him. No, sir. That's false information. Well, either way, I love way, it. This courtroom is trying to process me as state property. See this fictitious name statement, Asher Edwards, spelled in all capital letters. This is not my name. Dude. Edwards is referring to another <laughs> sovereign belief that beginning at birth, one is issued a government identity, meaning one's name is spelled in all capital letters, such as on a birth certificate or social security. I think security we just blow and what is, name what is A and E thing play, and then we don't have to. I was just going to say, maybe we should get out of here. <laughs> yeah. How long is it? How long is it? That's too long. Oh, perfect. 20 minutes. Issued without my consent. <laughs> anyway, you get the basic idea, though, because I mean, the point is, is it's always this. It's always people trying to get out of a ticket or something like that. And yeah, I do like, an like authority. It's it's like an authority figure, and they 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 they're in trouble, and they have some sort of script that kind of yeah. is referencing something that's older. That kind of just it, it's like script. It's like a weird script. Yeah, that the and there's some have. version of it's always some version of like the laws now are fake. There are right. realer laws in the Constitution or in for some reason Black's Law Dictionary from 1910. But I, but I love that every single one has in common what this guy does, which is like, they fail to the, they fail to consider that the judge may just say no. Like, <laughs> it, it's honestly, it's such a, a, a gutsy move to believe. It's like it's really optimistic. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. a crazy brain space to be in that you're like, I'll, I'll do this like puzzle. I'll say these right words, and then the judge will go like, <laughs> like I love, it. like what these things gonna happen? The judge can be like. A what? A maritime admiralty law court? And then he's gonna like look through his body and be like, "Well, by golly, he's right. This is an admiralty law courtroom. We can't wait a second. Is that a fictitious name statement in all caps on your arm? Make this man free to go. All the laws are illegitimate. Give like, him his straw, man. Two hundred fifty yeah. grand. True. They're always yeah. They're always explaining this. A lot of videos they're explaining. Like the most popular is they're explaining it to cops, right? About like, yes, like they have the right to travel. That's what I'm saying. I'm not driving. Like they always say, I'm traveling. This isn't driving. This is travel. Right. Driving like, is an economic. Yeah, that's gonna get you off. That's absolutely gonna get you off. Ooh. Is just semantics about what you're doing. Yeah, and also the idea though that like. If a judge or a cop were to do it, let's say somehow a judge or a cop hits their head really hard right before they walk up to the person. They're like, yeah, let me hear this guy out. Like, maybe all the laws are fake. 
do you know like what a problem it would cause if like a judge or a cop were to take it upon themselves to be like what he's saying is entirely accurate every court proceeding and ticket going on in america from now on is totally invalid like that'd be so insane like it can't work even if they were right uh sam do you have like a video that uh, any like choice videos you want to start out with or just kind of i almost feel like you know um so go ahead. Well, I was going to say, we kind of, so that's like how most people I would say know about it is something like this. This is like the most common version. But I would like you talking yeah, it's like about public the public freak out. Yeah. I like you talking yeah. about the actual historical, which I know is just kind of talking, but I, I find it really interesting because I never knew the origins of it. And you kind of found out the actual origins of the of the deal oh yeah well i, I could go into that but maybe we want to like just show one video first of like okay just somebody Some you guys stuff. have found that is like and then i'll kind of talk about the history and uh well i cool could talk is. about how just real quick if you want to cue something up sam if you have a video of a guy like the the thing that reinvigorated my interest recently was that i had the lucky experience of actually seeing the car of a sovereign citizen in the wild i don't remember do you guys remember when i sent you that like oh yeah I, which was really for me a cool experience which was i was just parking somewhere in la and i saw this i saw i saw this on a car parked and i was like huh i've never seen a license plate like that and for a second i was like Man, is that like some crazy like diplomatic license plate or something like that? American national on it, civilian civilian traveler, traveler diplomat. diplomat. And I was like, man, that's so weird. Like, on the one hand, it looks kind of like some sort of diplomatic license plate. On the other hand, it kind of looks like it's made of printer paper. And so I like took this image and searched it, and there's a link on it that goes to just an absolutely cockamamie, a sovereign citizen website. But like once again, you gotta respect like in real life. In Los Angeles, I saw a guy who was like, man, you know what I'm going to do? Just fucking print out a license plate. I'm just going to print out my own license plate. How do you get, how do you not get pulled over every day? I don't even understand how they don't get harassed constantly if you're going to go to this level with it. I'm sure he's getting pulled over all the time. He's got a little he American flag on it, American national. Yeah, he's probably got like tens of thousands of dollars it. in they tickets. They enjoy wasting time. It's like what they love to do because they're trying to tell somebody that they're right about the dumbest shit ever. They're difficult people. Yes. For sure, they're difficult people. And they've Sam, been sold a bill of goods, for sure. I mean, they're not... Do you have a video, the sharpest Sam, of uh, a cool tools. guy? I do, yeah. Um, this is just like a classic um, and police encounter. If that's what you guys, if that's yeah, what you guys yeah, want. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get one of those. Okay, hold on. I got to find the exact video. And I could always edit to, to close this gap, too, because I also... Would you want me to show the guy who says he's going to explain how to do it and never does? I mean, that's kind of a hard thing to convey in something other than real time, but. Oh, yeah, if you want. Yeah. That guy's cool because he kind of looks like what you would imagine a sovereign citizen would look like on a sort of base level. Yeah, he's a good visual representation. I just want to say, too, that um, shout out to Jake for sending me this video, actually. And Jake. And. What's up, Jake? subject also uh this is a funny channel this this channel does dive into like a an analysis of it oh, I, I don't know where the original video is but uh it's like a blue lives matter channel that's anti-sovereign citizen which is pretty funny yeah that's one of those gray area Open enemies ginger, yeah. like uh you back know. the blue yeah they're kind of a back the blue person yeah do you guys get it uh Oh, through Discord? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I sent it through here. Um, yeah, let me... Is there... Can you put it on the document? Yeah. I kind of have to stop recording you to... I'm sorry. Okay. I wasn't sure if we wanted... Um, these kind of like trad videos of... I'm down. I'm down with the... the sickness. Yeah, okay. It's down there. It's okay. on the it's on the I'm bottom. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Let's go. Looking really cool so far, I'll say. Time to practice. And he looks the part as per usual. 
Soul patch, fucking chums. Upskirt angle. Uh, good day. I do not. I stopped. Sure I, I pulled over to let you around. No. No, your place was dead. I pulled you over to let me let you I around. Know, I'm, I'm telling you, your place was expired. Just says and it now again. I got you stopped. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You may expire since May. Do you have me. You're detaining me. I just see your driver's license. He's not even saying it right. I know he's not even yeah. saying the script right. Am I being right. detained? Am I being detained? <laughs> you're, yeah, you find these people you're who like- detaining me. There's then there, there's the hardcore ideological <laughs> sovereign citizens, <laughs> and then there's also a genre of this type of video, I'd say. It's like there's the people who already know about it and are trolling and want to get caught. Then there's people who like you can tell they kind of read about it one time, and like- uh they're kind of like they're trying to remember. Yeah. What was that thing that guy said in the video? Like, am I free to go? Like, am I being detained? <laughs> like, but but the Black's Law book says penalty, that penalty of perjury, penalty to perjury, <laughs> to admiralty. You're not being detained. You're a traffic stop. Turn your phone off. That's all. These are your driver's license, your registration proof insurance. Turn your phone. Is that an order? No. Is that a, an that's order? A direction from a police officer. Are you ordering me to do something? From a command of a police officer, you have to present your <laughs> driver's license. That's am state I, law. Am I required to? Yes, you are. Do you have evidence that I'm required? I'll tell you what. Do you have evidence that I'm, I'm required to? Then we'll get back up and we're going to arrest you. That usually works. Show me your driver's license. <laughs> yeah, you have one? Is that a requirement? You have, you have a driver's license. <laughs> are you ordering me to do a thing? The ignorance these idiots need to stoop to, to pull it. Wait, That's good. What's going on now? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you that. Now I it's told like you a, goes into a, it's some English guy being like, "This poor police officer in Georgia has every right to <laughs> order him to give him his driver's license." Back le bleu. Back le bleu. Le bleu. <laughs> back le bleu. <laughs> Instead of soccer blue. Get in the back of the lorry. It's cops watch. Get in the back of the paddy wagon. It's cop watch. What's up? Welcome back to Rippy's Nottinghamshire cop watch. We got Rippy Dippington in America, West Chivy Joe. Welcome to <laughs> Sheriff of Nottingham's order to reverse car jam. Oh, I fucked it. I couldn't stick it, you guys. I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm a free citizen. <laughs> you think you're sovereign? No, you're in it. I got you in the back of the truck. Anyway. What about a movie where Jason Statham is a sovereign citizen? It's like Crank. What about a movie where Jason Statham works for the NSA and he likes it? <laughs> what about a movie where Jason Statham is like, there's this guy called Edward Snowden. He's going to be a problem soon. Fuck everything up for us. Oh Not my really. God. Oh my God, he put an SD card in a Rubik's Cube. We can never let that happen again. <laughs> he's on the Bitcoin. It's oh my cool. God, he's, oh my God, he's holed up in Russia buying Bitcoin. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't it's know. Wild. I kind of, I kind of forgot that this guy, this hashtag Black the Blue uh, YouTuber, Black is just blue. an English guy. Black, <laughs> that's yeah, funny to blue. me. Backing the blue is like already cringe, but like backing foreign blue, that's hilarious. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's, it's so especially, wild. Especially, especially to do it from England to here, right? Because like usually their line is like, "Oh my god, I can't believe the American police are just shooting everybody." Usually that's a yeah, card yeah. they use. They're like the American police are so bad, but like our police have batons. <laughs> our, our police have drink tea batons. and have batons. Have our batons police have whistles, tea. don't it? And but yeah, so to do it to England Your to hear, it's like drink coffee. You're backing worse blue. Well, Wins police drink tea. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Wins yours police drink coffee. Wins police drinking teas in it. <laughs> yours police. Is... <laughs> Wins police. <laughs> This is a character from uh from space. <laughs> <laughs> from space Wait, England. Please, drinking coffee and tea both in it. Kind of Yours back is... the blue uh, uh Pirates of the Caribbean like character or something like that. <laughs> let's yeah. think let's explore that. Hi, pop it. Yeah. Hi, pop it, back the blue. What, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a is that a Pirates of the Caribbean character? Yeah, I Hi, yeah. of course. Hi, pop yeah. it. The one American guy in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my, where am I? 
Whoa! I'm from I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> is this maritime? Is this a court? Of so is this a maritime admiralty law court? It's that scene uh, where it's the scene where the guy's walking down in slow motion as the ship blows up, and then a guy's like, "Is this an admiralty maritime law court?" Room? Am I being Am I being detained? <laughs> am, am I being detained? They're underwater. I, I love the I love the They're flailing nature. Attack. I love the flailing nature of the sovereign sits going like. Am I being detained? And the cop is like, yes. And he's like, am I being detained, though? And no, he says no. He no, says, I know. But I mean, the thing that's going on is he's like, show me your driver's license. He's like, do I have to? And he's like, yes. And he's like, do, you do have I proof have to? That you have to show do me I have, it? Do you have proof that I have to? And it's like, uh, sure. Yes. Okay. But what, what if I don't gun? want to? The gun. <laughs> Can you give me your gun? <laughs> Do you have a real gun on you? <laughs> yes. Do you have proof? Well, I also like that you can tell, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying because it's like, it's so funny to say, what he meant to say was like, do you have proof I'm committing a crime? You know, he's meant to, well, but but the phrasing of like, he's so nervous, have, this guy. Do you have proof that this I have to show you? Nervous. But think he's about that. He's like shaking. He's saying like, do I, he doesn't say, do I have to show you my driver's license? He says, do you have proof that I have to show you? Like he wants the cop to show him where in the cop manual it says that you have to do it or something. Yeah, so it's, wild. It, yeah. Uh, it's semantics at the end of the day, really. Well, especially I mean, this guy. I mean, he's not even getting the script right. He's not even doing it right. The sovereign citizen no. movement. Uh, Check the phone. Yeah, look and lock onto it. Yeah, the sovereign citizen movement was started by a former uh, John Burgess. Talk, talk right guy. into the into the mic. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up? Get ready for the information download, folks, because this is what you don't get from these videos, which is like, why do they exist in the first place? Which honestly, I find pretty interesting. Uh, it was started. Sam, you probably know some of this, but it was started by a guy, William Potter, who was uh, he like broke off of the John Birch Society because it was it didn't go ham enough for him, so. <laughs> He wanted to create like a sort of united front of uh, Christian anti-government, anti-Fed people. And, uh, you know, it started out like really anti-Semitic and Jews run the world and uh, black you people know, are subhuman. Basic and come stuff up, for them. That'll come up later. And uh, he created the Posse Comitatus. Are you familiar with the Posse Comitatus, Sam? No, no, I've never heard of that. It sounds cool, though. <laughs> It's Are you posse. familiar with Posse Comitatus? It's a posse. How could it not be? How could it not be cool? It's, the, it's uh. Is this the Posse Comitatus? This is just gonna go behind. The posse it. <laughs> This is the. This is the Posse Comitatus uh, obligatory video watch. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Kind what, of what? a, kind of a civil war reenactment or something. You know, you know. Uh, first president had a goes. huge ass. That's all I'll say. Um, so Posse Comitatus is based on this like old law that like the county sheriffs are the highest uh, authority in the United States. Uh, uh -huh. And so they like just created their own posse. It's like they used to be able to do that. They used to be able to create yeah. their own posse. Before and cops existed, cops, right? Yeah. I mean, like it was it was a, right. um, a logistical thing. Like that is sort of true in the sense that like before city cops existed, right? I mean, like the only way that you could arrest somebody is if you, the sheriff, were like, okay, I'm going to need a couple guys You're from need town a posse to do something. And so he would deputize people. Like, that was true at one point. And uh, so, you know, he's going, he's going around, he's doing that. He's doing stuff like evading taxes, and uh, he's creating a sort of uh, what now, it, it's like the foundation of what the movement is now, which is kind of like a splinter. It's in so many different directions, and it's kind of like a hodgepodge. Yeah, it's gotten bigger, for It's gotten sure. bigger, but it's also like, you know, there's obviously black people who are sovereign citizens, so it's not explicitly uh, racist. But I will say, I, I will make the argument that it is still kind of racist. Um, based on the idea, oh yeah, okay, so it's based on the idea that like common law, which was started by the founding fathers, which is like biblical law, it's based on the Bible. Uh, it was replaced secretly by uh, admiralty law, this admiralty law of commerce in the sea. And like, you know, that's like secretly, Sam, secretly. Do you get that? He's globalist. Yeah, that's I. crazy. Globalist. That's fucked up. Oh, well, you know, Jews. That's honestly fucked up. They uh, secretly. Now, let me sure. get this straight. Let me just hear this again. They So there was biblical law in the United States. Common law. Yeah. Common biblically based law. Yeah. 
And then they switched it out, these dastardly... Was it the founding fathers who did it? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Okay, think sorry, it sorry. happened during the Civil War or it happened when uh, the gold standard was ended. Okay, so... Right. And this is what this is what Pirates of the Caribbean, the is second about. one, is actually about. <laughs> about. Is... Because of the maritime law, they brought it in. The, right, so... They, for, they forced it upon the U.S. citizens. These Anyways, sort of narrow duels. Jack Sparrow is all... He, all he's gold all, standard. He's all gold standard. Yeah. Yeah. Gold oh. standard. Bring it back. That's a bitch coin. He's going like this, and he's like, oh, and the, the, the doubloon <laughs> standard, and the mm. Fed. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. Janet Yellen, <laughs> isn't that her name? Yeah, nice. Janet um, Yellen. You Jan- said Janet <laughs> Yellen out. must be taken out, man. Uh, but oh. so they switched it out for the maritime law. They switched it out for the maritime law, and then there's just like other stuff I was just going to talk about, like. There's these things called UCC filings. Did any of you guys come across UCC filings? In yeah, name, but it wasn't yeah. explained to me what they are. Oh, well, like there's different ones. There's different UCC filings. So there's uh, there's harassment filings, and those are like you just put a lien, like a false lien on somebody or a corporate entity, and then for like a quadrillion dollars or like a quintillion dollars. But that's a legitimate, this is a legitimate like yeah, uh, UCC tool of exists law, right? Normally, like, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're for yeah. like, uh, you know, they're for corporations to put a lien on you when you don't pay back right. your money or whatever. Like loan car loan or something. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what they do is they put this like loan and it goes through. So it looks like if you, Sam, were trying to open up a line of credit, and you, you know, buy like, get your like pet grooming business started or whatever, you'd go to like right. your, your bank, you'd be like, oh, can I get a loan? And they'd be like, your credit's fucking dog shit because you have all this outstanding debt to this Jinkman's Galaxy Corporation or something, you know, for 40 billion gajillion dollars. <laughs> Which is like, I will say that it seems kind of like and a you flaw have, in however that's set up that it you is, can they do get that. through. And then like, so it's like jams up it, the yeah, words. It's mostly like, it's mostly kind of just like shotgun spring. Uh, like loopholes, kind of. Is what a lot of these, like the people that are really knowledgeable, right? That's kind of what they're doing. Yeah, there's people that like kind of get away with it. I think they get away with it in the sense that like it gets filed, and then like if you, Sam, wanted to get that business, like your little puppy, you want to clean puppies or whatever, if you're a little, you're business. like some sort of sick freak. You like cleaning little puppies and cats. <laughs> and you want to start a fake what business just what to get your hands sick. on puppies. Like, it's not sick. You don't really want to clean them. You just want to get your hands on them. And that's why you're that's sick. That's not even that's sick, sick either. What's wrong with that? That's you, not even sick uh, either. You're just going to touch dogs? You think, you think that's bad and to they're just wet enjoy? And, and they're wet with water? They're wet with water? They're and what's wrong with wild. that? Anyway. Some dogs like that. Listen, they're check sudsy? this out. Well, and wait, they're sudsy? So the UCC sudsy filings, boys. that's just one of the tools of the of the sovereign. Yeah, so that's one of the tools of harassment filing. So I'm just saying that you'd have to go get rid of that lien, that false lien. It's like a you. frivolous lawsuit. Yeah, almost. and you'd have to just do all this bullshit and take you forever. Well, you know what? I remember reading some story, like as an example of this, where it's like some woman's house got like stolen from her by like a sovereign citizen guy because he did this something along these lines. It's like he like put a lien. She like got a letter that was like, "You owe me eight hundred thousand dollars," and then she's like, "What?" And then like the guy just changed the locks on her house or something crazy. Yeah, they'll do that so, kind of shit. So what you're saying though is that because I didn't quite understand this, I saw videos of people talking about it, but the UCC filing, they'd be filing this against another person, a lien on another person, or what? Yeah, they do it on, on people. The... They do it on corporations. They'll do it on all sorts. Of people. Okay, so you'd go after like, let's say maybe like Walmart would be a good one if you just don't want to. You go for a big boy or what? Yeah, I didn't. I'm I'm not sure. I follow. I think. Well, here's what I'll say. It's almost like you're a sovereign first, and then you start doing shit like doing UCC filings on people because you're a fucking maniac who's outside society. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't know if it does anything to file against like a large corporation, other than like it makes that corporation have to then go and get rid of that like false lien on its yeah. business or something. But so they'll it's also like, do it like it's, it's, it's economic incentive, Sam. Like there's ways that they'd use that to like make money for themselves just as individuals or steal things. Like I said, like a guy attempted to use it to like steal a woman's house or something. But I've seen people talking about this, like you need to do your UCC filing before you make your own license plate or something. Well, yes, that's, right? that's a, okay. So there's, there's the other type UCC, of UCC filing, filing where you, where you, uh, you free to straw man and you get your money that has been set up. Okay, go back into the lore because what money? So not only, <laughs> yeah. so you're like, okay, sure. 
Let's just say, sure, they switched out the common biblical good, just Christian law. They, they done switched it out for this marit- maritime admiralty law, which, to what end, once again, why? And but, we're on land. Yeah. And we're on land, so that's messed yeah. up. So let's say it happened during the gold standard, uh, during the period of going off the gold standard. Why is that bad? Like, or to what end? What was going on then, Jack? You know. Well, something was set up back then. Basically, all citizens were sold. Basically, all citizens were sold for a certain amount to foreign investors. And so... Yeah, you probably didn't even know that, Sam. So everybody has a price, you see, at the federal level. You, yeah, so basically every American citizen at the Treasury, right, at the Treasury, has like an account, a secret treasury bank account that has associated a dollar amount of money with you they say it, yeah and it takes place at your birth and uh it's something to do with the capital letters okay so okay the sale <laughs> takes place at your birth they use your money as collateral to like do business in uh you know admiralty corporate jewish uh global trade <laughs> and so they when you're born I don't know if you noticed this, Sam, but they put capital letters on your birth certificate. Yeah, have you ever noticed yeah, that's that? That's not my name. That's not my fucking name. No, it's that's not. Bullshit. It's your capital. That's bullshit. It's your thing and name, my name only. My name involves capital and lowercase. And lowercase. Letters. Right. Yeah. So that's your flesh and blood name. And so what you do is you file a UCC filing and you file it with your flesh and blood name and then you can unlock... The the money, the straw man, as they call it, uh, you can get get your money, and it's anywhere from six hundred k to twenty million dollars, depending on who you're talking, which insane person on YouTube you're talking. And is that that's because, and is that because the uh, the United States is not actually a nation but a corporation? That's right. Yeah, you're a corporate oh. entity. Oh, man. okay. Yeah, I think I heard that before. Yeah. I think they, I heard that, and it's true, I thought. Mm-hmm. Well, it got yeah. sold. I don't think it was always a corporation. Well, you know what? It's like the United States exists, and then like the United States as we know it exists on top of it, right? This like corporate... Well, but once again, the same contradiction of why can the cop just say no? What's funny about that is like, um, you know, like, okay... So let's say it's true that a conspiracy as huge as the United States went off the gold standard so they could sell human capital. They could sell your productivity as a dollar amount, right, to investors. Why would they make it possible for you to send in a document that gives you all the money? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes no sense. It's like so simultaneously, it's like the most evil government conspiracy of all time. But this also, is a Patriot backdoor. But, but also, yeah, like, why Patriots. would they put yeah. in a Patriot backdoor? Like, if this were true, what would the government's interest be in making it's a America, way? America, man, you know? Yeah, they have, like, the idea is like, oh, yeah, they're super corrupt, but, like, they have to be a little fair. But you know? they're super corrupt, but, like, you know, this is land of the free. And we still, as Patriots, have the, the tools to, to kind of backdoor it, you know? Yeah, the thing is, it's one. That is what it seems like people believe is like you know they. I love this country. There is like a secret America that's still good. It's been taken. It's been taken by these uh, maritime enforcers or whatever you want. I want to call them. Yeah, these naval. But it's like the whole government, right? Like their theory is the whole government as we know it. The whole U.S. government (laughs) as we know it is illegitimate, right? Like the whole U.S. government is illegitimate. It's so interesting because it's another one of those things that is like. Close in a way to being like a kind of a critique of capitalism or something, right? Like, but like, they don't get quite there, right? Because like the idea that we are, we that are sold. We, we are like we are, human we products are owned by corporate interests. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that sort of like what? Not a, I'm going into real dumb, dumb shit territory. I definitely should have looked this up before. But isn't that sort of like what GDP theoretically is? Is like a, a to put a number to human productivity in your country, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Isn't that like yeah. what GDP the main, is? It, that would be the like main economic measure. That, right, that, and that people invest in your country based on that. Like it is sort Absolutely. of true that that yeah, is a get number. A grade. Yeah. yeah, and All you get a credit stuff. grade. You yeah. get like a you yeah. know the country based off that sort of number. Except Bhutan. Okay, go on. Bhutan, I think, has gross domestic uh, happiness or something. That's well, God, true. Well, actually, you know I've heard that. Yeah. God, God bless them, and God bless Bhutan. So they have like those spinning wheels, and they have they have sovereign citizens that are trying to. Yeah, what are they trying to do? 
Yeah, they're unhappy. They have sovereign citizens. Really, they're trying this whole to happiness get out. system is they're, bullshit. They're trying to they're trying to throw the shackles down because they're unhappy. Actually, yeah. So uh, it, take the chains up. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'll say to the UCC filing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be feet. easily verifiable if it were true that you could submit a document and get your straw man money unlocked? Wouldn't that be easy to prove that you I know, received yeah. it? Like, so I think it built and it that just, straw man cash. That straw man cash. It's a lot of money. It's so sick, dude. The straw man hands it down. What when, himself? <laughs> when the straw man goes liquid on you. I've also seen here's I've also seen a version of this where people are like, oh, the numbers on your social security card are actually they're linked to the bank account, the secret treasury bank account. Well, that actually is true. Oh yeah? That one's true. <laughs> well, I just Jack remember got, I saw a TikTok. Jack got, Jack got Jack got pilled on this. I, I saw I get a, pilled a TikTok. once an episode. Yeah, on one pill. Pill. <laughs> Well, I saw a TikTok one time that was this woman and she's like OMG, like, oh my God, like the numbers on the back of the social security card go to your secret treasury account. She's like, look, I bought something on Amazon with it. And uh, that's what you do with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she put in the bank information from her social security card on Amazon and it she bought like worked. a worked Flismo well, on Amazon. I also bet you that it's like, um, you know, with bank, if you're buying something with a bank account directly, it usually takes like two to three days to clear. So that woman probably just kind of committed fraud basically like unintentionally and just put in like fake bank credentials well i heard that um if you get this is kind of crazy but if you go to the funko pop store direct and you get you get this certain funko pop i think it's like dwight from the office funko pop funko pop store direct.com <laughs> and you uh you look on the back of that there's a serial number on dwight yeah and if you type that in yeah, that's man. a straw man's phone number. It's just, that's, that's the, a Slither Man straw man. I was man. just gonna say, I heard the Slither Man is the straw man. Is that true? I think it is true. Uh, Sam, you listen to NXK nephew? RXK nephew? RX. Yeah, of Thank course. You. I always listen to that. Yeah. Well, look that up, guys. <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, uh, you unlock that Dwight. You take that Dwight hash, and uh, it's on a chain, and you can. You unlock that, and you get your straw man points. You can get White Castle half off, man. Fucking Dinkman's holiday. Yeah, all you have to do is put your social security number into my into website, the, uh, <laughs> into the POS at the at the White Castle when you're. Yeah, paying. you know, like um, have you ever seen those iPad POS systems that are at, like lots of cafes now? Yeah. Well, yeah. what you don't, and you know, that's like, oh, what's your rewards number? What's your phone number? Uh -huh. What they don't tell you is sort of a hidden hack. Mm -hmm. You just enter your social security number in that box. The coffee's free because That's it links crazy. directly yeah. to your secret treasury account, your fictitious name. I was uh, doing, I was signing up to be a coach of little league soccer right, yeah. where I'm from. <laughs> yeah, I remember and that. And they, yeah. they wanted my social security number. And I said, is it for the straw man or what? Like, why do you guys need it? And they said, it's to prove if you're not, um, that you're a citizen. And I said, no way. So. So you don't coach. I didn't ever coach. Man, this rocks. Do so you have any more awesome stories? <laughs> I uh I was at the uh to the market the other day and I heard that if you put a sarcopod <laughs> if you put a social security number in the sarcopod, it's free. <laughs> no, it's half off. It's half off. <laughs> you still have to pay half. Um yeah, well, it all hit, but okay, so that was the original stuff. I'd you say. You know why they call it martial arts? Uh, why? It's because it's martial law. Uh, right. Do you know why they, they're now calling it maritime admiralty arts? <laughs> because in ancient times, they actually switched yeah. out the real biblical common martial arts with a sort of maritime, maritime admiralty. Maritime. <laughs> Tringus. Sorry, a Metroid, a Metroid, a Metroid Prime sort of government. A Metroid had Marlty, uh martial arts. Are you part of the Metroid government? You're just spinning all hard. You could kind of, you could kind of. <laughs> this is something. Are you part of the Metroid government that allows you to turn into a spinning ball at will? <laughs> That's their big defining feature. <laughs> you can travel anywhere and turn into a spinning ball. What were you saying, Sam? I just, I got really confused researching this. It's, it's honestly tough it's stuff. tough to follow like because it's all I think you know, everybody has their own version of I this, think you could babble. I think anyone if they really wanted to could go back and find something right like Metroid's Law or whatever 
and just say that that's a way to get out of evading a traffic right. ticket. Well, here's and you the- could convince enough people like the guy, this video that we just watched of the guy. He doesn't know mm. anything. You the know, reason like, I had this there's up. There's a lot of... Oh, yeah, go ahead. There's, there's, just, there's a lot of people, I think, that just don't want to pay traffic tickets. And I think right. they yeah, fall for yeah. this. I think oh, they fall yeah. for the hardcore. There's genres. They're, they're not the hardcore. Like, they're not the hardcore. No, that's core. what I was saying. Yeah. It's like, like there's Jack people who just remember. Just, yeah, they just forgot for two years to pay their registration on their Absolutely. car. Absolutely. Yeah, like Timothy yeah. McVeigh. They're like... <laughs> like, they, like Timothy yeah. McVeigh, who's yeah, just at the wrong exactly, place at the wrong time. Dude. He just, he was pissed. That's, it is true. I mean, he was mostly just pissed off that he owed $600 on his I car I love the take of like Timothy McVeigh. He was really just like, pissed. Timothy McVeigh yeah, was just walking so, by or so something. Pissed. Like Timothy McVeigh was driving. The, he, he was just in the wrong. He was like, he's a patsy. Like he just the wrong place. The wrong time. Like Timothy McVeigh is innocent the same way that OJ is innocent. Right. Yeah, like that he is that he, that is. he didn't do it. The right. glove didn't. F- oh yeah, the glove didn't make love. Yeah, the McGlove. Um, McGlove. So, uh, check this out, man. Oh, I just want to say a little factoid that the if you guys remember the Oregon standoff, that something Bundy guy who got like, do you remember in Oregon they took over Albert, a federal Albert, building? Alfred Bundy. Or- yeah, Albert, yeah, yeah, yeah. That he that was, guy. Uh, he was, he was a sovereign citizen. About, um, he was upset about his cattle, his cattle grazing rights. Grazing right, right. And like land. his rights yeah. to federal land yeah. or whatever. But he was a sovereign citizen. Yeah. Right. And they, yeah. they wanted to take Big one. Yeah. They wanted to charge him for using federal land to yeah. graze his cows on. And he's like, fuck that. And he was like, is this a federal? Is this a federal admiral? He said, fuck that. I, he said, fuck that. I got a big ass family. And then, but didn't he get shot or some of the people at that? One that's how that did, ended. Right? They ran off some the of road his big ass family, dude. He had a whole militia and they were all. Yeah. Which bundies, is sort of the dude. ultimate version of the cop saying, yes, you do have to show me the license is when. Right. You go, like, and then you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get shot. It's like you say, like, yeah. <laughs> but this is a federal admiralty maritime field. <laughs> yeah. Which, which, kinda... which is wild, too, because he's just using he is using public land like he could just. For a commercial enterprise, too, like he's not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how it applies for him. Just he should be shot, but, is what you're saying. You're saying it's no, cool. I'm just saying. That the powers... I'm, just say, I'm saying that. I'm saying that he's absolutely in, involved in a commercial enterprise, and he's using public land. So it's kind of a crazy argument. But you know, well, what's crazy me. to do is to have that argument and then decide what you're going to do is like. Take over just, a federal building. It's just guns. I thought the law and the law one just every. That's yeah, not it's crazy. No, that makes sense. That's the next step. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like I, I think it's 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 you should be critical about what parts of it you demonize, right? Because it's like, in some ways, I'm sure many people who are on the other side of the aisle do agree that like certain parts of the government seem illegitimate or like are wrong, right? Or are a perversion of, of a law or something. But not this way. The Jews didn't do it is what I'm saying. You know, the things that you find wrong about the US government, it's not because the Jews secretly instituted maritime admiralty law. That's not the reason, you know? Yeah. It I reminds think- me of QAnon. It's like the QAnon people, the tragedy of QAnon is that they're like upset about bad things, but they they're the wrong way. They reach the wrong conclusions. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, totally. Q is yeah. the Q is yeah the the form that it takes currently you know and they think that Trump is gonna do the good stuff right it's misguided for, it's for like they go the wrong against way. the bad people but I, I I'll say that they're useful idiots for sure like I think the right. government keeps them around they obfuscate yeah. the truth the sovereign citizens are almost I mean they're not popular really but but yeah no it's totally funny saying what you're saying though it's like a lot of the videos are not ideologues they're not sovereign ideologues they're like you're saying they're like people like i know i i've seen ones especially recently where it'll be like someone in zoom court it'll be someone in zoom court where like um you can tell they just looked it up like they're looking they at have it, it on the, the computer browser. yeah you can tell they yeah, just looked yeah. it up cuz they're like cuz <laughs> so the judge will say like um you know like is your name like derek jensen and and they'll be like depends if you're spelling that be big, like, big letters like, or not. Uh, no that is not my name and then they like go off camera while they read from their computer screen they're like uh yeah uh actually that's a that's a corporation that's actually a corporation is what it is it's, it's not me and they're like but do people call you that and they go like well yeah but like that's not me because you know i what? mean that guy we watched in the jumpsuit almost kind of sounded like that like he stumbled over admiralty law what i like is the the guys who i think do it and know that it's not and know that it's bullshit kind of 
the most cynical. But the most cynical of them. But then, then they have their grift that is like they'll sell classes about how to do UCC Man. filings and shit like God, that. Imagine purchasing a class on how to be a sovereign citizen. That's a fucking dark. So this one. guy, he does. He talks about UCC filing and all this shit. I don't know. I I got kind of into him, and you'll see. Okay, so <clears throat> they have all these crazy websites and. Something that's uh, that pulls them all together is that they all look like websites from like 1998, right. such as Copper Moonshine. Still, the original. They're all web 1.0. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, they no one can make a contemporary website, but this is awesome, you guys. Are you seeing this, Sam? Can you see this? You uh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. This is energy mode. Do you, how do they live to be 120 years old? The cell and is that's a link, and that's a link because it's underlined. I want because this is web. This is web. Web. This web is web one, one, one point. One. <laughs> well, it's all about cellular hydration and stuff like that. There's a choice. Yeah. There's a couple of choice uh, paragraphs down here. Here's what gets really interesting. Mr. Bauer not only learned about electrical spin and how it makes us healthy, but he also invented a way to bring <laughs> these benefits right into your homes, <laughs> <laughs> or just about anywhere for that matter, at an affordable price. He has Holy developed shit. water energy systems that he says will change the spin of right turning unhealthy water into left spinning healthy water. Left spinning. Are you guys? From... <laughs> well, I is like this... that. That right makes turning left spinning. Is this a is this a website just to the, establish the right like hand turns the left hand spins? Is the old saying. I'm, goes. I'm remember. You know, it's funny because like you know people talk about like clockwise and counterclockwise toilet flushes like in like. Uh, on different sides of the equator. Right, which isn't real. Mm -hmm. That isn't real? No. That's fucked up that I thought it was. Anyway. Why? Well, why? It's not real? Say that to my face. <laughs> I don't think it's real. Okay, well, hold on. I just like the idea of, of like, a guy seeing it and, not, and be like, it's turning left. Well, <laughs> instead of on. clockwise or counterclockwise. <laughs> okay. like, Even that. This is left turning water. Even <laughs> And this is right spinning Right spinning. Yeah, water. what does okay, so what does that mean? In the northern hemisphere it's right you? spinning. And by the way, this is all in like looks like a big scroll. Okay, so <laughs> the secret flu can now be yours. You bet that the water the Hunza and the Villa Kamambaba peoples drink is loaded with energy. We it's all, all left them. spinning. We all know that. <laughs> One of the <laughs> Mr. Bauer says that one energy gut mug can be used to treat thousands and thousands of gallons of water. So all these sovereign citizens, they're all like uh all these sovereign citizens are all, they're all deep in the, all these other stupid right. bullshit grips. It's a lot of things are like that. Like, yeah. in this world of stuff, it's like how looks maxing is associated with fighting with Nazis in Ukraine. You know, it's like Absolutely, yeah. these things, these weird interests pop up. It's like all the sovereign citizens are all also. Now, what in. is this? Okay, now let me show you the. the <laughs> what is this? This is an energy checkout. mug chart. The, the checkout. If you want to wow. buy something, you can do little or big on certain ones. There's energy sticks. This is a crazy okay. interface. Yes. This is psychotic. Okay, this looks like like polymer. This looks like it looks like a well to me it looks posing. like just a piece of heavy duty cable inside of some sort of a like well like soft wait, posing. Well, with these, some, are like, these are rated at five million bovis. These are rated at five million bovis. Oh, I stand. I stand corrected. Sorry, this <laughs> wait, isn't dude, just Home dude, Depot gear. Dude, these yeah, are now rated definitely... at five million bovis. That's five times one million bovis. The big energy six That's seven insane. inches made exactly like the water wand above, but smaller. It can this be used website, anywhere you want. This is web, this website is not. This isn't even like what web one point This yeah, is just like, like, this is like I've like, never seen a website that this looks is like, like this. this. Is like a DARPA net <laughs> first yeah. website. This is ever. some <laughs> sort of yeah. It's just <laughs> this for is the listener. Like, it's just a list. It's just a list uh, <laughs> like a document. It almost looks like an Excel spreadsheet with just like pills that you click well, on is that what you're doing you're clicking on these little pills here? yeah I'll you say add that, to your cart by it clicking is on the, the pill. craziest it shows you some like hyper photos of some wait you guys it's the crazy, crazy well i'm really thinking how do we even describe this to an audio listener like this is the craziest i've never seen a checkout interface like this like it's almost crazy that they came up with it like you know yeah, normally no, you see it's products a whole other it's, it's a whole other user interface that yeah, it's no like, one's ever discovered. It's like yeah. an alternative reality where this is what yeah. checkout. What, there's like a row of pills down the middle, little pill oh, buttons. Oh, and your shipping, your shipping address, the fill out form is always visible. It's always yeah. visible. There's it's no like, like an a email. checkout page. It's not like a checkout page. 
Yeah. You select the pill, the the you click through the pills you want to And then it yeah, adds accept. it to your cart as live. You get pilled on those and then you your your address is already, you know, typed but in. But look at these you. look at these energy mugs and tell me if you haven't seen <laughs> those just anywhere yeah, sure. else. Just like maybe some plastic Costco. just some like maybe like something you might buy at Walmart. I'm just like telling you plastic folks. Plastic beer stein. But those something. are those are all um rated at five million bobas, of course. And, well, fuck uh, me. Wait, wait, no wait, 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 wait. I mean, they wait, obviously wait. aren't just your run-of-the-mill <laughs> beer shines that are made out of plastic. Wait, 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 wait. Five million bovis? I, wait, but that's upgraded from the original 800,000 bovis that they were rated for? Yeah, previously? yeah, the original 800,000 came out around 1995. This new energy mug is actually old style, like the very first mugs. Not merely having an energized pad in its space, it's double wall constructed with plastic, uh, where the space between the inner and outer shells is filled <laughs> with high energy. I can't get over this. Dude, Five look at the Bubba Bovis brand water. mug. <laughs> look at the Bubba brand. It's like the plastic is Shittiest Absolutely. fuck ass Absolutely. Alibaba mug. Stock, all three photos are stock photos of, of <laughs> shitty plastic mugs. Dude, this Bubba no brand. Doubt. Bubba brand. Bubba brand, yeah. Uh, this state allows the cells to the body to stay hydrated full of water and not get puckered up and old. This positively polarized mug is virtually any substance of positive left spin. Left is in quotes. A left spin is healthy and energy enhancing, while a right spin is unhealthy and draining. Cancer spells spin How much right. is that? How much is that? <laughs> cancer, cancer spells spin, spin right. Spin hey, spin can right. you argue with that? I please, God, How much, listener. Can we add that to our cart? How yeah, much is yeah, that? that's like forty-one. Oh, this one. I think. Wait, the energy that mugs. That sounds like a kind of forty-one. Oh, well, check this out. You depends. can get large, X large, double XL, fifty-five dollars. <laughs> you can get Bubba frosted or graduated. Which uh, this doesn't totally make sense to me because can no, you it's get not, it's not correct. Bubba frosted. Can you get the yeah. sizes? In each of the kinds of mug? No, I don't think so. I think it's let's just broken. It I'll also one. say, what's this item that's one hundred and eighty nine dollars? What is that? Yeah, let's that's a that. glass pool activator. Oh, a glass pool activator. That's <laughs> that a big looks like a sort of piece of PB- PVC on a rope, is what that's appearing <laughs> to be. Holes screwed into so it. Some haphazard holes. Oh my god! Drilled into it. Oh my god! Look it's how many rated, bovis. It's rated at twelve million. Is this for your jacuzzi? Dude, your Sam, jacuzzi Sam, pause. Take, listen to this, dude. It's rated at 12 million bovis. It's an LPG Holy cocoon shit. water activator, PC, PVC cartridge, charges, specially energized, positive polarizing yeah. glass spheres inside, and nothing more. This one's <laughs> this one's literally a piece of PVC pipe with just a fucking rope on it. No, it's got glass spheres inside, you fucking idiot. Marbles? It's got marbles in it. <laughs> it's got marbles in it. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's ra- and that's all it takes to get rated at 12 million bovis? Damn. Yellow or black algae will be gone in positive water. Check the chlorine level frequently. You will not need as much as before, just a little to keep the green algae growing. Depending on the size of the pool, it may take three or five days until the chlorine smell is gone, and you can realize the difference in the water structure. Is chlorine right spinning? Uh, they're saying add chlorine, I think. So oh. uh, you're trying to get rid of your having chlorine in your water? That's probably bad. You know, it's probably like lets stuff grow. And uh, This thing is bad? Yeah, like I think it. How long does it take to work? How long does it take to work? It might take. It might take three to five days. Three to five days. So that's funny because chlorine in water doesn't it um, settle out in like two days? Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I will say I'm looking at this spinning audio CD gif. That's pretty cool. How much is this? It's only. It's an interview with Manfred Barr, German scientist and inventor of the energy mug. Can we look that up? Can we get it? Can we just buy that? Can we Let's get just it? buy that? Can we look it's up Manfred Bauer? Only seventy five dollars. No, no, no. It's two dollars. It's only two dollars. Oh, we could get the $2, audio $2, CD. Yeah. Um, I I just implore listeners to go to energymugs dot com. What did you click to get to this page, Jack? From the homepage. Uh, products, I think. Or something. Okay, okay. Well, just please, you definitely want to see this. I'll say because the interface it looks like a GeoCities, and the mugs are really funny. What is this now? This is the explore. This is another page about living to 120. This is on energymugs.com slash explore. Wow, look at that. Testament. At that. Oh, this graphic. This graphic. Get more energy with the energy mug. Fred's story. Fred had a very tight schedule. It was late Tuesday morning, and Fred had to drive from Dallas to Atlantic City for a Sorry, Tuesday morning. These are the seminar. testimonials for energy mugs. Fred was not attending the seminar, he was giving it. Fred decided to use his energy mug during the long drive. He placed all his vegetables and fruits in the energy mug before consuming them. Sorry. He also <laughs> placed all his pure water and juices <laughs> into the mug before drinking them. 
He drove with one of his hands in the mug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, all three That's things awesome. happened in sequence, or They're, like these are bullet he, points. Yeah. Well, they all helped Fred drive without incident and with only little fatigue. Man, that's crazy because I've I've, I've driven without I've driven without incident and little need a fatigue. Cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like the right spinning just, fucking <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I've ra- I've raw dogged it and just driven with little fatigue or without incident almost every day of my life, honestly, and I never felt the need for an energy mug. This in spite of the fact that between Tuesday morning and Thursday morning, he only had four hours of sleep at a comfort inn from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. On Thursday, Fred Fred set up and presented a full-day seminar. That evening, he only needed seven hours sleep. This is like a riddle. On Friday, he gave another full-day seminar, followed by eight hours of sleep. There was no crash often associated with stimulants or energy boosters. He apparently had found a natural energy that his entire body understood. That reads like a like a logic problem or something. Like on Thursday, between Tuesday and Thursday, he got four hours of sleep. On Friday, he got eight hours sleep. Okay, this is this one's cool. Kathy's story is Kathy drank six to seven cokes per day for years before her fiance asked her to place her drinks in the essential energy mug for a couple minutes mm-hmm. before she drank them. I like to think about him. Hey, hon, could you place your cokes in the essential energy mug, please? Uh, in four days, she was down to one Coke a day with no caffeine withdrawal. Today, she can go as long as she wishes with no cravings for sodas or sweets. Everything she drinks and most everything she eats goes in or on the energy mug for a couple of minutes before being consumed. What I like is this. It's now on. expanding the world of <laughs> how you mug. can use well, like, it. I, I really didn't see, you know, they're talking all this talk about water on the product page, but it's like you can put vegetables, just you can place them inside the just- energy mug. What is it's on pretty incredible. It's mean? right off the bat. That's the first so testimonial. Is that he's something. throwing. He's yeah. throwing. There we go. Vegetables straight in there while he's driving. Yeah, but like into water but within it, the energy. Yeah, mug. Also, his hand though. His hand then goes hand? in the mug. Well, you gotta got you gotta dunk in there to get. He drove the, with one know, of his hands in the or mug. Cauliflower out of there. You know yeah. what I'm realizing? Why do they sell products like this? Because this is just like the Copper Moonshine Stills guy. His page looks exactly like well, that's this. what I'm 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 curious too. I feel like it might just be to if somebody I, just to upset someone who's trying to look through is there some sort of do they have some sort of advantage by making just you know a wait, kind of esoteric website? Wait, Jack, was the Raptelligence website the the Rap Rapt- Elegance? Rapt- yeah, Rapt- yeah, it's gone, yeah. No. That's unique jewelry designs. Wow, they really do have Web 1.0 features. Are you seeing the little bubbles that come off your mouse, Jack? Yeah, well, the Bovis. The Bovis, <laughs> Bovis. scale is mega. For bio Wait, please. Angstrom. <laughs> bio Angstrom scale. Well, I'm trying to learn about Bovis because I am. Okay, the Life, for in, Life Force Index or Bovis scale, named after a 1930s French researcher. I'll, I'll just tell you right now, we're not even. I'm not even done reading this. This is the thing Jack is going to be pilled on this episode. And ironically, is he's going to believe Bovis is real. I got. I know for sure. I already do. The Life Force Index, or Bovis Scale, named after a 1930s French researcher, is used to measure natural earth energy or life force energy. Another term for this is biophotons or particles of light energy. Every living system emits biophotons, ranging from zero to infinity. Oh, that's a good range. A reading of 6,500 bovis is considered neutral for human life. Scientific research has correlated the clockwise or right spin of electrons of an atom around the nucleus uh, magnetic hemisphere with a bovis reading below 6,500, which is considered life depleting. Almost all tap water comes out around two to 3,000 bovis. <laughs> all negative. Huh. In addition to the mismanagement of the environment, readings below 6,500 are the effect of underground streams, obvious geological faults, and positive energy vortices. It, oh, sorry. Uh, geological faults and the Earth's magnetic grids. A counterclockwise or left spin correlates with a reading above 6,500, which is considered life enhancing. Several of Earth's positive energy vortices exceed 2 million bovis. And now the essential energy mug contains water at an astounding 5 million bovis <laughs> and creates readings between 1,800 and 40,000 bovis units in the liquid slash food being treated. I just love how many times when they say bovis, it's like, <laughs> what you don't realize is you're sick because of your lack of bovis. 
So if only you could consume more bovis through the energy mug which produces bovis, you could increase your bovis count to over 5 million. Well, this is a good segue into uh, something I found. Uh, are you guys familiar with Galactic Sovereigns? No. Uh, it's pretty That's much... I'm looking this at. is the yeah, next evolution, Sam. It's pretty much like the same thing as regular Sovereign, but they also think that... Uh, I think a couple things, like, you know... <laughs> they think some stuff. You see... You're because you think sovereign citizen like that's a little local, you know. Let's let's uh, zoom out. Well, they think yeah. that friendly aliens. They either think that friendly aliens are going to visit and like free them of the tyrannical admiralty laws and shit, or they believe that uh, aliens are already here and that they're controlling. And I think that other aliens are going to come, you know, ameliorate their suffering or something by stopping the bad aliens. But then <laughs> there's this other thing that galactic sovereigns think, which is called Nasara. You aware of Nasara, Sam? Mm -mm. Uh, Nasara is like. Uh, one sec. Is this something we could get up here, on a big screen? I got it. it Nasara. It's a theory, okay, it's a theory that like. Fifteen members of Congress and Clinton signed a bill in in the year two thousand, that would have uh, effectively abolished the IRS and income tax, all the things they want, and return and return uh, common law to the land. Uh, ended all war and established peace. So that's Nasara. They believe that it's a hidden law that guy that Bill Clinton did. He did. So they do must it. love Bill Clinton. Ironically, it's very cool that they 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 like Bill Clinton. Um, I love the idea of like a moderate who's like, look, I'm a Republican, but I liked Clinton. I mean, he passed Nasara. <laughs> yeah, it's the National <laughs> Economic Security Reformation Act, and. uh Powerful groups have kept this law secret through gag orders and sabotage, and when it looked like it would be publicly introduced on September 11th, 2001, there was a coordinated attempt to stop it. I don't, oh, I don't think I need to expel out what the what, what the coordinated was. attempt was. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, if part of it was like 9/11 was fully unrelated. 9/11, <laughs> and also 9/11 happened that same day as well. So anyway, there's this guy. He's part of the movement. His name's Sheldon Nidal. And anyway, there's this woman who had him on a podcast, and I, and so I just <laughs> like this video a lot, and I just wanted to show you guys. It's just her, and she's talking about how he, she had him on a podcast. So Shel this Sheldon guy is the, the creator of this concept of the Galactic Sovereign. I also, let's just say this. How funny is it to believe that, like, um, imagine, a, see imagine a life force so supreme that mm -hmm. they can do interstellar travel. And what they want to do is abolish the IRS. Think about that for just a second. Think about the aliens. There's it makes perfect the they sense, be, right? They I mean, must be yeah, the most fucking evil. They're the IRS. most advanced civilization that we know of. Certainly you more advanced than ours. Stands for. Hmm. I really suck. Nice, but imagine being able to travel through dimensions and and space and time. And you're like, what we got to do is go to Earth and abolish income tax. That's our supreme galactic mission. That's just like such wishful. It'd be like, it'd be like if I thought that like there were friendly aliens in the universe and like all they wanted to do was come give me a bunch of synthesizers. That's like, and also what they want to do is just something I like. That's all. <laughs> there are real galactic forces and they just happen to really care about the same stuff that I do. They want to give me a bunch of uh, diapers. That's what you like. That's what Jack would want. Yeah. No, that that's what Brendan was like. Diapers. I'm that's what but Brendan, I didn't say that. Full of, but I didn't, diapers full of. But I was saying, but be, you I was said being that. you when I said but it. But I didn't say that. You said it. They would bring you a bunch yeah, of Hot Wheels that, diapers. But you said it. Wearing diapers. Yeah, you said it. And like, mock yeah. Every time. So I just interviewed <laughs> Sheldon Holy shit, and Idol. What? He told me oh, about cool. the Galactic Federation. Of so... <laughs> Let's hold on, go. hold on. Let's replay the tape. What the fuck? This is super hot. This video is really hot. <laughs> I know you'd like this. I, Can I we play it back? Yeah, yeah, Can we yeah, play yeah. it back? Let's get so, it some uh, random. It's a very she? interesting oh intro. Oh my god. Who is she? Something Pratt. So I just interviewed Sheldon Nidal. He told Damn. me about the Galactic Federation. We of yeah. Galactic. <laughs> Allies of the Light. He Allies. told me about his life growing up as a child little green and man meeting he grew up as a child <laughs> and going on spaceships and being smart in mm. math and science 
<laughs> and learning about technologies that were so far more advanced than what we have here on. And he was telling me about growing up and being so good at math and so good at science on the ship. One more time, one more time. Roll it back. And learning about technologies that were so far more advanced than what we have here on Earth. The struggles of being different and obviously telling people this, you know, you maybe not everybody uh, understands or makes fun of you. Um, Also being smarter than... People like in university and, and getting F's on paper. Yeah, in this a, woman's backyard. It's, it's like, a woman. She looks like a backyard. There's a Weber grill. There's some shitty lawn it's, furniture. It, well, it looks like a woman who would come on to you. It looks like the, there's some massive redwoods. This is some Northern California kind of. Yeah, this is a vibe for sure. I mean, this, this is a is woman like, that would yeah, come on to you at the rodeo bar and, and tell you all sorts of wild you know tales. About, this is sure, like um, yeah. if you stay in Big Sur for more than a week, you meet this lady <laughs> at like the tavern. Like if you go there for more than a vacay and you like get involved in the culture, it's like this lady lives on the side of a mountain. Let me tell you about Sheldon. Let me tell you about Sheldon Idol. And his experience rides. growing up as a child, what? knowing math and finding alien. And beings. finding alien. She has a bunch of loose yeah. honey in her car, local honey. A bunch of just slosh, of loose sloshing honey, around. Yeah. It's filling up the floorboards. <laughs> you're you're ankle deep in honey when you get in the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> loose honey <laughs> versus snatched honey. Um, <laughs> listen though, the thing she just said that's really cool. She says like, oh, and he told me about also the struggles of being different and you know being at the university and being smarter than everybody, but getting F's on papers. And it's like if that's a real <laughs> event, imagine Sheldon Idol, this guy. There was a moment where he wrote an essay in college where he's like, well, you see, the Galactic Federation is why all the bovis, all the bovis, blah, blah, blah. And then the professor gave him like, imagine how annoying the like young Republicans who say they pretend to be liberal to like pass college are. And then imagine instead they're they're talking about bovis. They're like, I had to silence my bovis knowledge to get through college. Because this woman is bovis aware or what? Is she a bovis aware person? I think so. I think she bought okay. the farm on everything you, he told her in the podcast. But here, listen. She Not everybody uh, understands or makes fun of you. Um, also being smarter than people in university and getting Fs on papers because he just knew more than mm-hmm. the current uh, physics, right? Usually how All the way to what they're saying now uh, with first contact and why they're coming and how they're here to help us become fully realized um, beings. Hey, oh, let's just, I'll let, let you say hi to Pacino. Pacino. <laughs> her, her little dog named Pacino. Pacino. Yeah. Well, also, God, all these grand theories, I mean, like, and life is grand, obviously, but I mean, like, there's it's majestic. It, it, there's like real things that are like this in life. I guess it's the irony for everyone, but it's just so funny to be like talking about like, okay, let's say you believe it. Let's say you believe what you're saying. You're like, and he informed me that what's actually going on is that there are galactic beings who exist and are going to come. Oh, this is my dog, Pacino, by the way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't you be tearing your hair out, like running down the street if you legitimately thought this, you know? He's pretty fucking ugly, this dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a little piece of shit dog, too. Sorry, right, well, I'll let you it's say hi to dog. Pacino. Hi, Pacino. Looks just like Al Pacino. Honestly, I will give her that. Oh, just, oh, I'll give her, we I'll made give friends her the other morning when I was having breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you, yeah. The video is so I'd love you to check it. out that interview. It was extraordinary. Sheldon has a webinar coming up this Sunday, the 23rd, and also Thursday, the 27th, that I'd love you to uh, be a part of. It's only $15, very reasonable. So you can always go to alanapratt.com forward slash conversations. Oh, no, that's the old website. Wait a second. No, Intimate Conversations Live. Yeah, it's simple right. now. Intimate Conversations Live. Um, go there so you can listen to this extraordinary interview. There's something coming. Get the link to his uh, webinar. I believe it's alanapratt.com forward slash Sheldon dash Nidle, N-I-D-L-E. So you can sign up right for that. Um, an amazing man with an amazing story, yeah. with amazing gifts to help us to receive <laughs> Sheldon. what's coming Galactic. Uh, with peace and grace. All right, she puts fucking porno music. Down, right? She bookends uh, all her videos with just like porno with the YouTube free porno music. It's like it's like the Shane Dawson videos in 2007. Hey, I'm Russ Rafino. 
And if you're a coach, consultant, expert, author, or speaker, I have just one question for you. I'm not rest, you know where your I'm next rest <laughs> See, Wait, if you're like most rest coaches Rufino, out there, the truth Hold is on, that show you me this ride to. The other gurus out there with their fake jets and their fake cars and their fake houses and all the rest of it, if me, I'm just in a fake warehouse. <laughs> me, I'm just a totally <laughs> fake guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, shut up. No, wait, this guy makes Right, I mean, they want you to create cool. 50 pieces Mark of content. Mark guy. Post to Instagram, post to Facebook, post to YouTube, post your stories, take pictures, make videos, spend like $20,000 on a website, write five blog posts a day, and on and on and on. <laughs> There's just one problem. <laughs> Nobody really wants to do any of that shit. Five blog blogs a day. <laughs> five blog posts. I'm almost certain that he said fly. <laughs> what if I told you? Bog post. I built a fifty million. <laughs> Let's get in there first. <laughs> that's that's one take. Now look, don't take it's my word for it. Here's the proof. This is the inside of our Stripe account. Now that's my payment processor, and right there you oh, can fuck. see that in just the past few years, what? my company has done over fifty million dollars in revenue. But you know what? That's not the cool part. The cool part, especially for you, is that I did this without millions of followers, without a New York Times bestseller without spending all day on social media, without grinding out all these like sure, sure. posts what and things, but most importantly of all, without pretending to be somebody I'm not. So look, I'm a professional coach, just like you. The only difference is that I've cracked the code on the what secret. Saying that? What the fuck? Uh, how Adam Smith predicted Uber is the name of the recommended video, and that does sound <laughs> really cool. Uh, I, love, uh, I love that our algorithm is just all like our, shit like that, guys. Our, add, our algorithm and just, is like, shit. just like fucked videos. Yeah. It, no, our algorithm is absolutely fucked right now, for sure. It's so fucked up. It's so obscure and esoteric, I will say. For, for Hello, sure. between, Gloria, it's sexy cool, friend, yeah. and welcome to my it's channel. Cool, no Alana Pratt here, your intimacy expert and host of the podcast, Intimate Conversations. I have so a variety she's this, of play list for you that can answer she's almost a, any kind of more of like an intimate intimacy. she's like a sexy ed hardy yogi in the like person. once again I'm so, <laughs> I'm so curious to see like what this is uh what this video is like or like what because like once again it's like these people like really conspiracy minded people they have access to such an interesting ability for like like okay do you just believe sheldon Nidal, but then also like uh, other stuff is true like I believe Sheldon Nidal, but then like I'm also gonna continue to be concerned about yoga or something. Like the end is coming, right? I mean, I don't know. It seems funny to me. Oh, he looks way cooler. Uh, than I our thought. beautiful friends from far, far away instructed me to There's make no way Sheldon star Nidal's. rods, and they are magical. And I've gifted Sheldon with these, and just, he just uh, doesn't want to put a Sheldon bear receiving on it. some star rods. Are you talking to me now? Is uh, She's wearing they a big tie dye t shirt. So Santana shirt. Huge. Well, you feel relaxed. <laughs> it is now, a Santana let's, t shirt. <laughs> let's talk about the scene. This is um, a backyard mm. uh, with a hanging flower pot. Um, it's a, it's California style backyard. Maybe that's not. Don't you think a little bit? I don't yeah. know. It reminds me. It, of, is, it feels like California. I think, it's a California but... styled, like hippie backyard. Um, we, yeah. got, we got Dorothy Donahue, who's wearing a big, just big Santana tie dye shirt. And uh, and then we're finally seeing the man, the myth, the legend, Sheldon Nidal. And I don't know. He kind of looks like those frog and toad children's books. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he looks like both characters He looks combined. like both characters or something. <laughs> he looks like sort of a turtle man. But he looks like a turtle man who knows about something we don't. You know, I mean, like perhaps some sort of galactic plot. Or some sort There's of no scale for measuring. Some sort of scale. Yeah, it's so easy to scale. do the interview. <laughs> He's aware of something. He looks bovis affected. <laughs> and you just you just feel wonderful. You feel Dorothy's like there's a this gentle okay, little this bunch of arms a name caressing you all the time. She's got to remember. <laughs> and these these uh, two things here, these crystal filled and other uh, stuff in here, rods are just incredible. They they feel like Forget there's a little bullshit. motor going filled on. Filled with stuff, stuff and shit. <laughs> so you feel this little <laughs> vibration pattern. You know, fucking energy they are filled with unconditional love. They have oh. hundreds of crystals oh. in them. Uh, you can of ask crystals. them to help you relax. You can ask them to energize Wait, just... you. You can ask them to help you sleep. They are absolutely programmed to respond mm -hmm. to what you want them to do. And so we hundreds. thank the our friends who gave me the recipe for these. Yeah, you thank them too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank or you, as, Shell. Or as they say in Syrian, Zazuma. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Cool hundreds, flex. hundreds of Ovis. A million crystals. This is the sort of, this kind of like the sort of brand of hippie. I don't know if you guys know, like 
know what I'm talking about, but in California, there's just like somebody who has like lots of like frog statues or something in their yard. Yeah, absolutely. Five million bow fairies and frogs. So, but thank you, uh, uh, or just like crisp, like true. fake crisp. Yeah, oh, you know those true. orbs? Um, oh, you know those like yeah. reflecting more, orbs? Can you guys something hear that? like that in their garden? Just like a reflecting oh, we can orb hear. and some like shitty statue. Oh, we can hear. A dollar Tree or something like that. We've just been choosing to. Uh, you're, you're choosing to ignore that great kind of echo on. bit. Um, that was cool. I gotta. I find that funny. I gotta, can we take a small break? I gotta. Sure. Take my dog out and let's have do it. Slurred. All I'm saying is smoke. hundreds of crystals. Nice. And then I want to say something like. Can you, tell me. Can you echo me? It's, tell it's, me again about the bovis. Well, let me just tell you that this energy mug is rated for 12, 12 million, million bovis. Can you tell me? Can can you do me? Um, well, what what fact do you want to share for me with me? Something. Okay. T- t- so, what's the fact? I'll sh- tell you in a second Let's once see. you. Oh, I see what's going on. What? Okay. My name's Grimpy Tumpo. Man, that was good. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Queen, we got it. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sheldon Nidal, and um, wow, these uh, star rods are really excellent. <laughs> I mean, God, they're, f- I, well, you know, they're full of... Uh, what are they filled with? Yeah. Well, they're filled with crystals, and... What else uh, are they filled with? Well, just lots of stuff. stuff. Oh, yeah, right. Well, what? And then after he says that, the lady says they're actually filled with pure Pure love energy. (laughs) Um, right turning. Anyway, this guy is like another one of the galactic sovereigns, Destry Payne. Okay, I don't know. He's been like, we'll get back to Destry Payne in jail for (laughs) for something. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's take your break and then let's go for like twenty more. Wait, is there? Is that Carl Letts? Is that Carl Letts? No, this is Destry confused, Free Will Pain. I've seen pictures of this guy, and it says Carl Letts. This is this is Destry Free Will Pain. You know saying? Okay, well, we'll see, dude. I think when he wears sunglasses, he he calls himself uh, Carl Letts. But Sam, what do you know about some Bovis? I want some. I'm trying to find one of those big Bubba mugs to get my shit spun. Big, big, big Bubba. Bubba. Right, right spinning. I love the idea of someone getting the XXL and just going straight to 7-Eleven and filling up like a big gulp, you know? Yeah, like filling up your... Well, because that the Coke story was you kind of... You know there's people that... Yeah. Well, here's the question that the Coke story sort of uh, brought up for me is like, um, so did she put the Coke can in the mug or she poured the Coke into the mug? She probably just poured it right in, yeah. But, and see, then she, but think she about quit. this. Think about this, Sam. If yeah. if the mug makes the soda left turning and therefore yeah. good, why? What is the uh-huh. incentive to stop drinking it then? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it it, it doesn't right, because even anything good anything anything out of it would be beneficial. Right? Yeah, like the logic yeah. of like, well, I was drinking five cokes a day, but then I started drinking it out of my energy mug, and now I drink one coke a day. It's like, so wait, does the energy mug? make the thing good or it makes it less bad or it makes you not want to do it like it doesn't even follow its own logic no it's true because i think you should email them about that i should be like wait doesn't it make the coca-cola left turning coca-cola and increase its bovis rating at least like (laughs) five million or something yeah it would be beneficial coca-cola at that point it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't be uh you know stricken by these planetary kind of kind of uh, measurements, you know, like sugar or calories or anything like that. Doctor, doctor, uh, give me the news. I got a bad case of less than 6,000 bovis. What do you think of that? I think that's cool. I think that's what it, I think, I think you should email them and tell them that, you know, we're curious about the Coca-Cola Hi, yeah. Um, tell them that we tell them that we have found a way to sort of put bovis, th- uh, you know, communicate bovis through energy over audio waves. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, awesome. I'm I'm at the drive through to the human being, Sam. Hey, I was hoping you guys could put the little the little candy on the top. That's that. Keep that. But I'm just kind of concerned about your guys's cappuccino. What's the bovis rating on your guys's cappuccino? 
Does the bean? Does the does Listen, the cuff? You lost me on the candy part. You lost me on the candy part. Does the they candy can leave well, that off? Is the candy can that off? Does is the candy right turning or left turning? Bovis. <laughs> Epic bovis moment. Excuse me. Yo, I don't. I don't have any effects on my microphone, but. Do you want me to be the the drive through person? Sorry. I'm sure. Let's try that out. Mm-hmm. So, what are your plans for the day? Uh, yeah, I actually just left my friend, my friend Sam's house. Uh, what happened there? Yeah, was so, it fun? No, it was pretty dark. Was just... Here's your coffee. Yeah, go oh. on. Oh, oh, right, even... careful! There's a bean. There's a candy on it. Oh my god, yeah, it's falling. To... Well, anyway, just no, trying... but I really want to hear about your day. Don't drive off. Yeah, just okay. Yet. Well, my friend I know you Sam feel rushed. Don't feel rushed. My friend Sam. Uh, you got another customer. In, in yeah, mind. well, you asked so don't me. Feel so I'm leaving my friend Sam's yeah. house. And man, I, uh-huh. as I was going out the door, I saw his cat okay. drinking. His cat was uh-huh. drinking lead paint water. Oh, wow. And I, and I was like, okay. I was like, wait. Did you want anything else? Did you want, were you looking for anything else or just the coffee? Uh, no, I guess. We can open up another. Here's another transaction for you. Here's another candy for you. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, you want another candy? Oh, oh, already threw oh, it in your lap. It. Because oh, here, <laughs> we just give you candy. We don't, we don't ask. Oh, we just put it right candy. on top of the lid. We don't care. Put it on the lid, and you know, uh, you got to balance it on top. You're What's already your, dealing with a hot coffee. What do you think your cat's bovis rating is, though, like, unironically? Low, dude. Really low. <laughs> Super. Her water's all still, dude. You've Doesn't got to, turn any which way. You've got a right turning. She drinks cat. out of bowl. She drinks out of bowls and shit like that. There's no mug. You know what? Energy present. And this is a sort of sub podcast for you and me called Cat Talk. Yeah. So you know, yeah. what? I ended up getting, and I do not regret getting one of those fountains. Are you aware of what I'm talking about? Like the thing that keeps the water flowing. Yeah, like runs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have yeah. you ever thought about getting one of those? My cat, my cat chugs water. She doesn't. Oh, care you don't, if it's need, running it. You don't or not. need it. Yeah, she my goes cat, crazy for my water. cat definitely yeah. drinks more water since getting one of those. Did oh, those that's good? Did those dryer sheets work out? Uh, they worked a little bit. I think I've used them one time, honestly, and mm, it seemed yeah. better. But they're really smelly. Oh, they smell too much. They're just really smelly. I don't know. My clothes seemed a little better. I still found a little. They're bit really there. smelly. Maybe I'm desensitized to it because I've been using them too long. I guess I it's would like. Use it- I would use it again. I would use definitely use it again. Thank you. I'm gonna clip that and send it back to the brewer box. Yeah, th- yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Yo, hold on, you guys. I gotta pee. I gotta. Yo, pee. yo, it's time to go. Smoke. Oh, oh, wait, wait, are we going back in? Uh, well, Jack just came back, but why don't you pee and I'll pee again too, and then we'll go back in. Okay. Bovis. This is an update on Desty f- Jestry Free Will Pain. I have- removed my uh, UCC legal entity into a trust in Belize, and I can operate an international venue and literally go through the um, to the American sure consulate can. to deal with these cards. I've done that on one ticket, and I shut them right down. I had the Bay County Corporation Council. The courts couldn't handle the paperwork I turned in on the international venue. They turned it over to their uh, corporation council, and I, I had wrote them a real nice get lost letter. This guy seems out of his mind, I'll say. Okay, so this is just a quick update on uh, Destry Payne out of uh, Bay County, I think it's uh, Michigan. It turns out that before his arrest in 2015, he was bragging to Carl Lentz about how he had uh, beaten the Bay County courts. As we can see in the docket, shortly after... Uh, bragging to Carl Lentz. Uh, this is just October kind of. 16th, I just want to uh, play this video. You know what? I do want to say uh, a weird thing that this reminds other- me of, which is like, so this guy, who no one knows about, is giving an update on another guy no one knows about named Destry. And this is another weird thing I found. Sam is like, there's this micro. It's like sovereign citizens. There's a class of them that use YouTube like social media in a way that no one else does. Like. There's all these people with these names. So this is Destry, Destry Free Will Pain, right? Okay. Then there's this guy. This is a video that's really cool. It's called How to Become a Sovereign Citizen. This guy looks kind of the part. Check this out. Over the weekend, a lot of knowledge was shared. A lot of like minds. Big beard, dirty Uh, hat. 
Morning, Mark. Literally, you can Hope see the is well inside in your of the guts Christy. of the whatever house he's in. There we go. Well, and here's what's cool, though. His, ho his house is not finished. Yet. So um, we can't go through Julian? it because it's insufferable. This video is yeah, 11 minutes long, here where I'm and at. it's called How to Become a Sovereign Citizen Part 1. He never describes how to become a sovereign citizen. I'll just tell you that it's the most meandering, crazy video. But then in the comments, uh, yeah, some of these people are making fun of him, but like, then there's mention of these other people, like for instance, like um, basically through the comments on this video, I just and this video only has like a, a couple hundred views, I think, but like okay, so we just got an update on Destry Free Will Pain. Then there's this guy who I can't totally figure out his role, but his name's Virgo Triad, and uh, this is a video called Virgo Triad I found in that hot too. water. I found. I, what if every yeah. time someone and, but it's like credit it's card, like the thing that paid. sometimes happens with this stuff no for us where, where like are, it's like looking at it, like a formless color like i i can't ascertain what virgo triad is like i don't know what I he think does virgo, i thought virgo triad was a woman who was associated with the moors very possible well this is yeah. a micro channel once again this is freedom fighter uh new england news this guy is this channel new england news oh news new england sorry and uh, he does these like live streams where it's all these like First Amendment auditors who walk in, watch him talk about other YouTubers with like 300 subscribers. Pepperoni audits is definitely yeah, pe is a this mod is, in the chat. This is a replay of the live chat and Pepperoni audits is there. But yeah, he's so he's talking theoretically about Virgo Triad. But I just can't figure out. So Virgo Triad, Sam, you figured out who Virgo Triad is? So I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> hold on. Let me see. I guess I we, just, we should, I was trying to figure it out and I fucking, I couldn't. We should talk uh, about the Moorish sovereign citizens, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's worth talking about. It's worth talking about considering that it started as a racist movement, the sovereign citizen movement, but there's a whole wing of it that is specifically like, um, it's like for black people. Well, you know, like, do you know their claim? The more, no. Well, they think that, okay. If, what are they called? They're called the Moorish sovereign citizens, and they think that they're the they're the, actually the indigenous people of the Americas. That's right, and also that uh, they're descendant of Moroccans, and that they're really Moors, and that they're they go by this old uh, peace treaty of the Moroccan United States peace treaty, right? Uh, and so that's the law that they abide by, um, and so that's like their take. On the the, you know, sovereign citizen movement, basically. And uh, I think it's also important to mention because I would say they're one of the most active sovereign citizen groups right now because, like, they were recently in the news. They're the the sovereign citizen group of the most report recently. I would say because, oh wait, where's the story? Basically, a group of the, okay, yeah, okay, the the more sovereign movement did like an armed standoff on I-95 in Massachusetts. I don't know much more about it, but but that was another thing I saw on a TikTok because this guy who like leads the movement, one of the leaders of the Moorish Sovereign Citizen Movement, just posted a TikTok that day where he was like, look, we don't mean any trouble. They're all like in camo and like have AR-15s and stuff. And they're like, we just need, I don't know, recognition or something. I'm trying to find the name of the guy. Duh, duh, duh. The interesting thing about them is, like, again, it's like, yeah, there is a critique to be made for black uh, of citizens course, of, of the course. United States of America, mm -hmm. um, and it and it ends up just falling under like we don't want to pay taxes, um, and yeah, maybe they shouldn't pay taxes, which is know. also yeah, kind of fair, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I will say, though, I do think this group specifically, like the more sovereign movement, I believe, like I was talking about, they're one of the groups who's done that thing where they tried to, like, steal a lady's house with one of those fictitious liens. Oh, yeah, See, the, like, all, they I all like try the to Virgo do that. Triad, I feel like the Virgo Triad thing is something about that. But I She might, might be a more sovereign citizen. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you it's... Look at, I found a... Uh, the Virgo Triad GoFundMe page. Check this out. A New Jersey woman was preyed upon by a fast-growing extremist group that claims its members are sovereign moors not bound by U.S. laws. So, Sam, this is why someone might do a fictitious lien. This news story I'm going to read you real quick. 
The official-looking letters started arriving soon after Shanetta Little bought the cute Tudor house on Ivy Street in Newark, bearing a golden seal in orate uh, legalistic language. The documents claimed that an obscure 18th century treaty gave the sender rights to claim her new house as his own. She dismissed the letters as a hoax. And so it was with surprise that Miss Little found herself in her yard on Ivy Street on a June afternoon as a police SWAT team negotiated with a man who had broken in, changed her locks, and hung a red and green flag in its window. He claimed he was a sovereign citizen. Christmas? Christmas? He, sl- he, <laughs> claimed, Christmas flag, yeah. he claimed he was a sovereign citizen of a country that does not exist and for whom United States laws do not apply. Miss Little was a victim of a ploy known as paper terrorism, a favorite tactic of an extremist group that is one of the fastest growing, according to government experts and watchdog organizations, known as the more sovereign citizen movement and loosely based around a theory that black people are foreign citizens bound only by arcane legal systems. It encourages followers to violate well, that's different than what I said. Existent yeah. laws in the name of empowerment. Experts say it lures marginalized people to its ranks with the false promise that they are above the law, which I mean, obviously could end up being very bad. So I guess that's just kind of downside to it is that like, if you're like a black man who pulls the, um, you know, am I required to show you my license because you are firmly convicted that you're like an independent Moorish citizen that could uh, end badly, I would sure, say. Sure, yeah. Um, a man who entered her house, Hubert A. John of Los Angeles, was arrested on June 17th and charged with criminal. Well, yeah, great. Okay, they charged him at the ass. So now it's good. Anyway, I just provide context that, you know, it's not, not all sunshine and roses. I mean, it's certainly the coolest version i mean i i don't think it's uh it is something that is a story i i did find that a lot with like people taking people's houses that's cool <laughs> I've, i saw other instances of that which is pretty wild yeah i think it's something they do now it's which is kind of weird because you would think that you wouldn't want to like fuck over your fellow man so much as well, you'd, be in, you'd be impeding somebody else's like freedom or rights really is what well, maybe we is can, what they're do. I don't know. Maybe we that can finish be... off by looking at the Copper Moonshine Stills guy because that website's been cooking for a long time, as far as me being aware of it. Yeah, um, that's yeah. One of the rabbit hole things. So Copper Moon and there's videos on. There's all sorts of stuff. Okay, What's now, Lunar Embassy though. Well, that I mean, where is that? Keep that really quick. I don't know. There's something in there about Hillary Clinton recognizing the Lunar Embassy, which I thought was pretty interesting. Hmm. Sold. This is interesting because this is a sort of another web 1.0 GeoCities type website, yeah. but this one's called LunarEmbassy.com. Uh, a copy of the signed document with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's verification. There's another Clinton involved in this sort of galactic. I think they're referencing the same thing, right? The galactic government created no, in 2004. Is but it's the Hillary. 2004 government. That, that, that was, was not Nassar? No, that was 2000. Oh, oh. You don't remember because it was thwarted on 9 11. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, these are galactic Sovs. But Dennis Hope says that I am pleased that the United States has recognized the galactic government in our works. Says says Dennis Hope, who's the galactic government president. Yeah, so they're all about like the fact that there already is a galactic uh, right, right, federation. Right. I'll say that this seems real. I mean, like this seems real and true. I mean, if you read that, I there, land. Oh, says, and there it is. Uh, what were you going to yeah. say, Sam? What? Well, I can't read the text right now, but it does say that Hillary Clinton did approve. She did recognize them. So, well, what I like though is that we what can, else do you need, man? We Hillary. can find the why right now, which is I'm like, but what's the game? You know, what's the energy mug? What's the energy mug right. of lunarembassy.com? Well, yeah, that's why this is it's I by moon. That was wild. Yeah. Okay, or, you go or to or by planet properties. Yeah, let's yeah let's check out. Let's go to the planet properties. Yeah. Mm, Sidonia. I'm unaware of the planet Sidonia. No, Mars Sidonia. Uh, my interest is peaked. I would like to. Own I think a piece it might be a, 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 a moon on Mars. Pluto in, in its, its entirety. entirety. <laughs> oh, Click on shit, something, dude. please. The extraterrestrial passport and nationality. I mean, like, I might be interested. Oh yeah. Only twenty three bucks. Oh, okay. Bug yeah. yeah. So uh, I can get an alien passport. Afflicted planetary explorers. Afflicted. Oh, affiliate. Is it a joke? It almost reads as a joke, but I don't think it is. Only for off-planet use. Expires 25 years after issue date. It's so good to know that the galactic government can still maintain some element of bureaucracy. That's like... This says, we we only have the Lunar Embassy. What is that? USA, South Korea, and Japan. Only this site sells worldwide. Oh, beware of other companies. 
But think, or, of, yeah. think of how funny it is to oh, all those fucking Russian you can lunar only, shit. You can only use it. You can only use the South Korean lunar embassy passport. <laughs> that's a total fucking. That's if a grift. You, yeah. If you're talking to Splorbon from Gig Nine Eight, and you and you present him with a South Korean embassy uh, passport, space passport. You're fucked. Expect to be locked up. Expect to go to space um, prison. You're going straight to space prison. (laughs) Expect to to get fucking nabbed by Sidonia Mars customs because they're going to destroy you. Go okay, buy land. Okay, $20 seems reasonable. Dude. Okay, $250,000 we can buy. For Pluto? I'll say this. That almost seems kind of cheap. All of Pluto for $250,000? Well, here's the thing. You can also add your name on the deed for only $250 more. So I feel like that's a steal. Can you, more, yeah. can you have a, a deed with no name on it? What is <laughs> yeah, the point? Because they're sovereign. Yeah, I want to spend two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I don't want my name on the deed. I don't want to spend two fifty. That seems more. legitimate to me. Yeah. I also like that the nobody's bought it yet. I guess aliens. Well, God, don't you hope? Can we go ahead? Can we look at like another planet? See the subdivisions, maybe Sidonia or something. Let's look at Mercury. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Mercury, Mercury okay. is like hot as fuck, right? Okay, twenty five dollars to five hundred dollars. Mercurian deed, this is much more my speed, money wise. Yeah, yeah. A Mercurian deed. A oh, Mercurian deed. Twenty five percent off coupon code holiday twenty five. Oh wow! I paid for my Mercurian <laughs> deed with Bovis. Oh. All right, no more of that. It's overplayed. I understand. Um. Do they accept Bovis as a form of payment? That's what I'm... Well, Jack is all anti-Bovis, so I found out during the break. I don't mean to get I, into oh, it, fuck. but... I don't want to get political, but I am anti-Bovis, yeah. He doesn't like 20 Bovis. acres. Yeah, that's 20 the 500 acres. bucks. Okay, let, I want to find out what Mars Sidonia is. I want This is like a crazy... This is like about us. I want to buy... Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton said this is legitimate. And it's now, like, give us, now give us five hundred dollars to now buy a Call part her of up Mars. and ask. She'll deny it, but it's real, okay? Do you think I could set up my sarcopod on one on Mars? If you pay for it. You know, if you my buy Martian deed if you're land. using your own property, I see no problem. I think that American citizens should be guaranteed galactic citizens should be guaranteed the right that if you buy Pluto in its entirety, you should be allowed, it should be protected that NASA will launch your sarcopod at Pluto. <laughs> and you'll ride the sarcopod to Pluto. I like to think that you get there and it's like, wow, you see here, you know, I, I, I understand. You sir, see here. <laughs> I understand, sir, that you really wanted to put your sarcopod here on the Martian uh, Sidonian land, but you forgot to put a name on the deed. And so I have no proof that you I'm own Pluto. I've got no proof you've owned this. There's a little green man on reason, Pluto for and they're that like, reason, for that reason, owns you, it. For that reason, you need to have a registration on your license plate when you're traveling within the jurisdiction of Philadelphia. Exactly. You're in Pluto and you're like, but I'm traveling. And you're like, oh, shit. This they got hold on. Hold on. Uh, I own Pluto in its entirety. I'm actually a, I am actually a citizen of the Lunar Embassy. I want, um, I want a bumper sticker that's just black with white text that says, buy Moonland. Kind of oh, like research be, flat. Yeah, that would be nice. I Do they wanna... have just a merch shop? Maybe. Oh, maybe I w- let's. Yeah. I want to go to Copper Moonshine Stills because I, I want a shirt that says I want a shirt that says that I have a tattoo that says uh, I bought I bought Pluto with uh, Dogecoin. I bought Pluto and all I got was this lousy shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what I like about Copper Moonshine Stills is we actually found it for something else. A lost episode and uh, an episode lost to time about alcohol. <laughs> That's that right. We will- Perhaps revisit another day. Wait, that's not that. That's not true. It is. Is it? That's how I found this was through. I thought we found it through. Oh, maybe the I'm misremembering. Earth. Yeah. The we, Earth C. Yeah. Or we, whatever. We the, found it through sovereign citizenry. Okay, wait. Oh, I thought yeah, I you found this about, first. Brendan, you talked about how you talked about how you saw the plate right already. We talked about that. Right? Yeah. Right. But and I, what was oh, the, I found this NC, from that and N S E A. Yeah. There was like the yeah, environmental NC, court. Because Which is like environmental court where they're cleaning the ocean. But and what it's I like love a is thing. what I love is is that Copper it Moonshine Stills, which is Von Wilson's Copper Moonshine Stills. What I love about it and is And everybody it's, knows Von Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You can't just breeze over Von Wilson. Let's get a look at it. Because he's a fucking legend in the copper world. He's an artist with his craft. Man, he looks he perfect. He forms copper in the cut. And can we just talk about him? He's wearing kind of, you know, a 
Uh, I don't know, a sportsman's <laughs> shirt, kind of a fishing shirt. It's actually got a trout on one side here. Yeah, it's a white shirt, but it's got like embroidered he's a fat patches. Guy. He's a fat guy, he's sunburned, and he's got just the hardest goatee I've ever yeah, seen. He's like a, sides are trimmed all the way. It's Billy. The sides are trimmed. The sides are trimmed into just a, a perfect egg around his mouth. <laughs> he, he's got an egg hanging it's around a Billy's he's sort of a, a burnt sure. daddy. He's a and it's little white. bit of a burnt it's white. Daddy. It's a white egg Goatee. hanging around his craw. He's got he's got some glasses some on. Chums. He's got some glasses retainers on his glasses. He's got the kind of uh you know sportsman's cap. It's kind of a cowboy hat. Yeah he's got like a sun cap. hat. You know he's yeah, got like sun a, hat. Uh, you would, uh, and he's standing on an elegant vista. And this bastard, this bastard builds beautiful. We're gonna show you still. guys what this bastard makes. Well, what I was gonna his, say he's was, he's a craftsman of the copper. What I love about this website is that it's set up in such a way where, like, the sovereign citizen part, like, the crazy thing about this website is a really small part of it. Because let's say you're like, I want to shop local, and I live in uh, Missouri, I think, or something like that. Yeah, at the sky, at the von, at the von Wilson's family. Sky yeah, you're like, I want to shop Dutch local. Wil- sky so, copper, copper you know, ranch out there in in Missouri. Yeah, you see a billboard that says like Copper Moonshine Stills dot com, and so you look and you're like, oh wow, custom yeah. handcrafted sh- copper stills. That's awesome. That always got to use These are beautiful. Great prices. Great prices. Three thousand dollars for a double <laughs> still. Twenty gallon yeah. Georgia Ridge still. If I want something smaller, okay. you know. Just oh, okay. oh, he's got larger things. You know, he's got like the eighty gallon mm-hmm. Red Marlin Moonshine still. Um, and then oh, it's nice. made to look oh. like a marlin. That's really cool. It looks actually. like a mar- for the sport fisherman in your life. And then you're scrolling also... down. You've got different types of twenty gallon Carolina copper still, yeah. goose gooseneck pot still, eighteenth century tea urn. You know, and you're, and then you're you're going mm. down, and then. Then you see, That's beautiful. and he's got, oh, you've got distilling classes and free moonshine sure. permit, blah, blah, blah. Then you see a certain couple of, of options in the <laughs> menu that are a little different. Something looks a little different. One of them is beat the law, diplomatic immunity, state citizen passport. Hmm. Then there's also one that says prophecy the sixth seal, which I really like. Let's go to prophecy the sixth seal real quick. It's a picture of a nuclear explosion. And it says the sixth seal. If you see this, then you just miss the rapture. And it's just him talking about so it. Sort of, it. He's talking about um, sort of a Waco That's level. That's how the rapture works for sure. Yeah. yeah, and it's just this insane screed that is about. Um, he talks about got the Islam, rapture clock. Sure. He's got the rapture clock. We're we're three minutes to midnight. Yeah, we're three minutes to midnight. Yeah. Many of you may be familiar with the 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 nuclear ho- like the nuclear holocaust clock or whatever it's called. What is it? Right, right. The thing yeah. where it's like scientists it's already, say, yeah, and that thing's closer to midnight than three minutes. It's right. Like a minute well, from and anyway, this one this one hand, is handed down straight from Jesus himself. But I just okay, so the this is clock. already a good enough thing to just have on your copper moonshine stills website. But then okay, so diplomatic immunity beat the law, and this is what I like too is that okay. So maybe there's this stuff that they all agree on, but then I love the element of like some of them are just thinking up their own stuff. I have to imagine because what this guy supplies on the beat the law diplomatic immunity state citizen passport is um, similar to the idea that, uh, okay, where, no, 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 no. let's see. I need the, I have little time, so please do not talk to me about this information. If you do understand it, then you should not do it. It's last updated 2019. I'm trying to find the instructions on how to. It's like a PDF, I think. Yeah. Oh, actually, this it contains a lot of it here. But basically, what this guy's whole thing is is that there's a certain way to fill out your passport application such that you will become officially recognized as a, as a um. What is what does he say? He says Illegal that. Legal fiction. So, like for instance. What you want to be is a state citizen. You want to be a citizen of the United States. You do not want to be a United States citizen, which is a legal fiction, and gotcha. a franchise citizen of the federal corporation, the United States District of Columbia. Okay, that's what you don't want to be. And the way you achieve this is by various methods. But if I'm not that, then can I unlock not unlock my straw man through a UCC filing? Well, you know, it's crazy. Get it's my almost liquid like, dump from the straw I man. I think, I, from what I've heard, from what I've learned, uh, step one is always with all these people. Step one is always passport. Step what one this is guy's passport? talking about with your passport. Yeah, yeah you the, have to. There's all these like steps, and then it's like, oh, you can basically drive without having a license plate is the end goal it seems like but 
Yeah. If you check off yes to U.S. citizen on anything, then that makes you a U.S. citizen. Otherwise, you are a state citizen. No one is a U.S. citizen. Not you or your spouse or your ex-spouse or your mom, dad, or child. Uh, this is the most important step. Say no to U.S. citizen on everything. Make sure you get this right. This is the only thing that matters uh, on the application. Do not let them bully you into checking off yes to U.S. citizenship. Oh, and then you have to, you know, you have to put in care of, you have to sign. Oh, okay, this is critical. Additional things you can do. Put without prejudice above your signature. This ensures that you are not a legal fiction. That's a good shirt as well. Um, without prejudice? Without prejudice, this ensures and that you are not email, a legal fiction. We did email him, right? About Well, you know what's I even funnier a, than us daughter, emailing him? Is, our daughter uh, is a legal fiction, and he never got back to us. Well, you know what? He might not have gotten back to us, Sam, but one yeah. time this cool thing that happened was... Uh, I was on a, a set for a PA job and I told someone about Copper Moonshine Stills. And this <laughs> guy, Von Wilson's email address is just on Copper Moonshine And oh, uh, wow. a guy, right, right, yeah. a guy emailed him. Like he's like, that's so crazy. Like I got to email him. And he responded like while we were still on set. I want to try and find Oh, it interesting. Quick. I just want to read you the exchange and then maybe we can cap, maybe we can find some sort of sovereign citizen song and then be done with it. Okay, I found it. I sent it to you a long time ago. Uh, we're resuming. We are resuming. I found it. Basically, this guy I worked with on set sent him an email because he thought, oh, wow, this is really crazy. It says, inquiry. Hello, I am curious about sovereign citizenship. Can you answer a few questions for me? And what's really funny about it is I'm not going to say it, but like the guy who I was on set with, he was like, a, he was in the, he was a layout technician. He's like a, he just used his normal email signature with this Colonel Von Wilson guy. Like he's, he's not very good at prank emails because he just gave him his full name and contact <laughs> information and job and company name right away. But anyway, <laughs> says, I am curious about sovereign citizenship. Can I answer you a few, can you answer a few questions for me? And I was shocked they responded because he just, Colonel Wilson said, what you want to know? Cordially yours, Colonel Von Wilson. <laughs> to, oh, wow. Awesome. Actually, this isn't even more mind-blowing. I just made fun of that guy for that. Colonel Wilson gave his full address, his full home address and phone number on, is in his email signature. And oh, shit. here's what I'll say. God fucking bless in Colonel Wilson's email signature at the end. All rights reserved. USA without USDC. The sovereign domain of His Royal Majesty's creation. Right. Um. And he says, what you want to know? And then the guy says, do I have to pay income tax doing this? And then Colonel Wilson says, nope. It removes your name and social security number from the IRS computers in Virginia. The only way you may get a letter from the IRS is if you <laughs> file and make a math error. Which what I, what I love about that exchange is like the, the passport stuff, right? You're like, to what end? To what end, you know? And so for him in this email to just confirm, he's like, yeah, so what happens is is if you fill out your passport right, your name gets deleted off the IRS computer in Virginia and you don't have to pay taxes anymore. So I think we can make like a pretty fundamentally sound assumption that Colonel Wilson's been not paying taxes for like the past many years, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why hasn't anybody Absolutely. come after him yet? Maybe you just haven't got around to it. Yeah, and then I think also... Oh, I have the answer to the email we sent him actually also here. Cause remember we did get a response saying, cause we sent him some fictitious thing about like, uh, do you want to search Colonel Wilson, uh, Wilson in your email real quick? What email? Uh, Jamie, Jamie. Maybe you don't want to reveal that point. It's not even that funny. Okay. Because he just took it completely seriously. So it wasn't a very good prank email. Essentially we asked him like, Hey, can I, um, is there a way that we can like get like my Canadian daughter or something? And like, also, can I have a 300 gallon still? And he just, oh, took, yeah, I said, I said, pleasure to be acquainted with, with your website. Into the I'm mic. wondering, I'm wondering about the legal fiction status of my beautiful daughter. She actually got in, <laughs> interpreted as a legal fiction at the DMV. The government, I think is the government is trying to ultimately seize my home entirely by slowly, but surely forcing all of our clan to become us citizens, which is sad. Is it too late to convert my daughter to state citizenship? She's 17. P.S. How much does it cost to ship a 140-gallon double diamond riveted print still across <laughs> the Canadian border to me and my daughters? Also, the bank, quotes, is trying to take my father's 
German quotes memorabilia and put it in some museum. <laughs> <laughs> any, any nice I, touch. That's yeah. a nice touch. I forgot about that. Any <laughs> any ideas for that? Thanks for your amber knowledge. What's the what's the subject <laughs> line we wrote for that email? Uh, bank owners are falsifying my records after <laughs> father's death. And then we signed off Dane Priests Jr. <laughs> and he said, he said in purple text, I could not oh, tell wow. you anything oh. about Canadian law, and I am too old to build anything larger than 60 gallons. And that's it. That's all he said to that email, which I, I <laughs> guess is kind of funny in itself because like that's cool, he yeah. didn't. And then he has his full address. Yeah, cool. we're realizing. Wow, Man, isn't that full funny? fucking address? Yeah, not very smart. Mr. Oh, and he Kramer included Wilson. a video. What's that? I may have seen it. What is it's it? It's just the moon. It's like the video that plays when you go to his channel, I think. Yeah. Well, also, uh, I'll say last thought on this website. Somewhere on it, I can't remember exactly. There's little prizes. If you go to coppermoonshinestills.com, there's little surprises on each of the stills, you know? And on one of them, there's a, a this is literally like Web 1.0. Do you know about like on GeoCities and stuff, like uh, before like MP3s, like it would download MIDI files? Yeah. Um, on one of these, when you click it, it sort of like auto downloads a MIDI file of of Dixie, the Confederate, like the Confederate national anthem or whatever. Um, so that's just kind of funny. You can try and find a Dixie dot. I think it's eighty gallon of Missouri still. Try that. Are you serious? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's not it. Go uh, up. Well, there we doxed him. <laughs> He's been doxed. He like he wants it. Two hundred twenty. Try. Oh, this is a different song. This is like a... Also a MIDI file, though. This is just like some so Scottish cool. thing or something? Is this like a... Do the 220... Bagpipe or some shit? There you go. There you go. Well, this isn't Dixie, but this is just a good song that plays on this. This is a Dixie remake. Mm. Very Web, web 1.0. Uh, this is him and his confederate oh found it so this is a this page is called what does it say uh c, uh, c colonel wilson and when you click c colonel wilson it's c. an colonel aged Dance. photograph of two men in uh memorabilia uh I'm confederate memorabilia and then auto download the but here's what i like because it's all old timey dixie.mid auto downloads like you don't get an opportunity to not download Dixie.mid. It just is downloaded. Play that track, see what it's uh So Colonel so his Colonel status is strictly a is it, is it legal status. fiction, as it were? It's a legal fiction. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly. It does say see the Colonel, I guess, which implies that it's a sort of character. Well, there's these other people, this woman The Colonel uh, is a really high rank. I didn't get right? to talk I mean, about her, but this woman named Anna Von Reitz uh, says she's a judge in Alaska, and, and she got kind of like semi-famous in the community for uh, sending out a letter when Obama got elected saying that. Famous in the soft sit community? Yeah, yeah, saying that uh, he should resign and he's not a citizen. Wow, what so. an epic own. And she also believes that there's this crazy thing that she believes where, like, black people in the 13th. Where is it going? Yeah. <laughs> And the thirteenth amendment, thirteenth and fourteenth amendment, basically made it so that like African Americans are actually citizens in a fictitious way, and do need to pay taxes. Wait, hold on. This but is actually perfect doesn't. for what you're talking about. She doesn't need to pay Wait. taxes because she is because when just that happened, midi, just a basic nitty performance of of Dixie. When fast when, when the fourteenth. Amendment Mario happened. Kart reminds me. I'm playing Mario Kart. Dixie Thanks Mario for Mario Kart. Yeah, sounds like some Mario. Anyway, Kart when the music. 14th Amendment Anyways. happened, it, it made black people citizens in a fictitious way. But then it made uh, anybody who wasn't African American, the white population, it freed all of them from like the the Admiralty law somehow. Holy shit. And so, Wait, like, you say this is a judge in Alaska. She says she's a judge. Oh, of, she just of, like, yeah, a common law court. That makes common law court. You can say anything 
in common she's law. got a you book know, there's a lot called, of common law doctors that i discovered but yeah. <laughs> she's got a common law book called uh-huh. uh what's it called let's look it up the truth as it is is one of her uh books that's Great like title a- honestly i remember you telling me about this Yeah, this guy. Uh, it doesn't come up when you Google it. <laughs> so that's no. not a good sign. She's got a lot of works on Amazon. Correct your political status. Oh, right, no, we've got to wrap up. Let's let's figure out what we're going to finish on, folks. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's figure that out. <clears throat> Any particularly funny video, or we could find one. We could go yeah, Algo I mean, Rider style. I think, I think, I think, uh, I'm kind of, you know, with something that's worked the last couple times is just searching s- s- the thing we're talking about song, I'll say. I mean, I do, I will say I have a preference for the, towards the border checkpoint refusal of the search. Yeah. Let's, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let me search. Oh, that's in the doc? Because it's got, because it's got, it's multi. Okay, we leave you with this, faceted. folks. It's really multifaceted. Sia inspired by Final Fantasy. Man, that looked cool. It starts out with just a slow mo window being smashed into a million pieces. You got another angle now? Oh my god. That looks pretty brutal. Oh, he's got a lot of videos of that. This is, Ro- this is Robert Trudell's. Uh, oh my God! This yeah. guy's car is <laughs> seventy angles. Oh my God! He he's like got. Oh my God! Another God, he looks angle. Like fucking Mark from Pete. Dude, he's, he's got a fed a fed smoker style ride. He's got a Rasta beanie hanging hanging he's tough. Yet, yet another he's camera angle of his window getting smashed in his and face. It's a slow mo. It's a slow mo of him being surprised by the it's glass being smashed. Pitch. Whoa. Yeah, that's kind of a Cheech and Chong kind of sketch. Psycho. Yeah. Oh. I'm not psycho. Get in my way. That's psycho. Okay. Wow, this is this is a great self stand. Maybe I'm a. He's cleaning a knife with his fingers. Psycho. Did he just say maybe is I'm a little a psycho? Thing? Oh yeah. Hey man. This guy's How's the going? sovereign citizen Joker. I uh. I heard you're doing a music video. Yep, yep, I'm uh, I'm doing a video. Yeah, a music video. You got any more parts? Whoa. No. No? Why not? No, All of his other videos are him help. going I, through the uh, drive-thru at McDonald's. I found some jackasses that do it for that. free. And, and uh, yes, I, I got the U-Man man to fill in for the other parts. Damn. Damn. Damn that U-Man man. Yeah, yeah, damn him. <laughs> Damn. This is fucking incredible, damn. Sam. Damn that, you my man. Damn, damn. This guy lives damn, in an RV. Damn that, you my man. That you man, man. Really? Damn that, you man, man. I, I don't know. Damn, no, I don't damn, think so. Damn that man. It's like an RV. Damn that seems like a very man. normal. <laughs> oh, he's. Wait, what damn, was that? Normal, what was that? that? You man, man. Something damn, is going on. Damn, that, uh, it's not a big deal. He's just in a hospital damn, gown. Damn, he's dressed up as a woman. Bomb. He's using a he's vibrator. A bomb. Let's get it. On. He's in the shower. I, I, it's happening so fast I can't describe it. He's in a gas mask. He's he's in a shower with his. Uh... Does it protect you from this? <laughs> oh, he's cutting into a big thing Hide covered with plastic. The alien. Hide the pot. <laughs> it's like a G. John's video. Dude. What is this? Los Algodones, right, Mexico. Go. Now he's on vacation. <laughs> right. Oh, it's okay, a big pinata. He's got a guy, dan- <laughs> a guy at Takarini's dancing with a pinata that's an alien. He's in Yuma. Gas mask back on. Bathroom. He's singing in the gas mask. Camera on the ground looking up at him in a bathroom. He's also wearing a fake Rastafarian hat that has fake dreads hanging off. That made its appearance in the first shot of the- Of him getting his window smashed in. Yes, I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh, under whose authority are you, uh, are you, uh, making this stop? He's talking to- talking to donkeys. 
asses, as it were. Hey, jackass. He's got a GoPro strapped to his head. He's wearing safety glasses. There's about six to seven stop? GoPros in view at any given Am time. Am I free to go? <laughs> Am I free to go? And the pacing yeah, of this video is incredible. Border Patrol checkpoint film. Wait. Did you see what the name of this video is? Surrounded by these jackasses Border Patrol again. checkpoint film Uber Alice. Yeah. This isn't going to make a good impression. It's 558. The audition's at 6. It means above all I'm else. Not gonna you know be on time. Yeah. Well, it's the old German like the the German national anthem I think they abandoned because it was the Nazi one was Deutschland über alles. I think. I mm. He's showing, he's just showing a bridge that has swastikas on it. All the humor. It's pretty wild. Oh. A bridge like in huh. Arizona, I'm assuming. Oh, I'm cool. What's the sub? This, <laughs> this is darker. In the name of Yuma. Yuma. He's Uma in a wetsuit driving now. Pay the fine. He's in Dreaming. an O'Neill wetsuit. Pay the fine. I have reclaimed this land in the name of the human man. He's webbed gloves well, on. We have webbed met. wetsuit. One no webs, webbed arms. glove. I'll probably just fade the, the outro into this. They're pumped up with dumbbells. Thank you, folks. And a little charge. Thank you for listening. Wow, it's been such and a ride, and now you understand sovereign man. citizenry. Overall, women. Nope, <laughs> that can't be the sign-off. Oh. Yes, uh... I mean, us Uberalis. Oh, I'm now it's, yeah, man. us. Are Down the tubes, man? Uberalis. Man. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, like, in a good way. Nazis are bad. But yeah, we all, we're all in agreement. I can say unanimously, uh, Down the Tubes is an anti-Nazi podcast, 100%. Goodbye.